for that. And finally, today's session uh, is sponsored uh, by our very own Kickstarter, Why Slay Dragons When You Could Be fish- Fishing. Folks, this is our first ever book we're, we're publishing through IO Publishing, and our Kickstarter is happening in five days, April 11th, baby. Exclamation mark Kickstarter for more information. The message should be pinned. Why Slay Dragons When You Could Be Fishing um, is a wonderful book, a tool set for you to bring fishing into your 5e world, whether it's full campaigns, the occasional one-off, or it's just simply a downtime activity. We bring you modular rules that get, get, grant you access to simplified and detailed uh, fishing rules uh, for whatever works for your table. Let's go ahead and play the trailer, and then we're just going to dive right on in. Hello, job. everyone. How are y'all doing? Howdy. Greetings, Hi. greetings, greetings. Hey. Oh, Hello. boy. We got a lot uh, going on. Hi. You back, Lena? Hi. Yeah, I had to get the dog. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. Uh, wait, what? I, I have... Get this. Yeah, normal conversation. We there was actually it was Weird. such a just normal conversation yeah, it was that was happening. Pretty fucking mundane. I was like I was talking about how I enjoy jogging. Uh-huh. <laughs> Honestly, and that was, I like, hate like, jogging that was and the running. conversation. I've uh, I like, man, this has been good. I've I talked about how jogging. You oh yeah. This no 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 no. That's what I'm just that's 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 a normal conversation to me. I recently discovered a love of oh, sorry of, oh god tomato fuck sorry of, of uh, what jogging. what. <laughs> What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> what? what happened? I, I yawned a little. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What did you do? I don't. I, I thought you were just aware that Tomato was here and got like startled by yeah, his that, presence. Yeah, I mean, if you had just not said anything at all, it would have been nothing. But you saying, oh, oh God, fuck, oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. Oops. Like, I, just usually like, if someone I, yawns, you, you eat them alive immediately, like without consequence. Just Wait, what? Done. Wait, what? Is that one true? Time. Happened one time. Yeah, dude, he fucking bites their heads off. It's oh, happened yeah. Yeah. I killed. I killed one person. All right, one guy. I feel like that's one, one too many, bud. Yep. Nope, one's enough. <laughs> it's not actually. <laughs> killed one person. He's got a dog. taste for it now. He's like a dog. Right, currently, right now, my elbows. I couldn't do. I couldn't do the the kill even if I wanted to. So oh, uh, lucky boy. break. All right, so. Uh, I'm currently granting everyone a long rest. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, after you have explored, um, oh yeah, there's a, your little turret is back too. Look at him. Um, Mido buddy, dead. Mido dead, but Elfish yeah, cannon to be. dead. Uh-oh. Uh, and looking around here, getting everything here. All right. Uh, so, I'm just going to dive on in because there's still all... You, you have just barely scratched the surface of this uh, space station. Um, <clears throat> last we left off, you guys uh, explored uh, what was within the Black Star Mark. From there, you learned the deep lore uh, that is not only a part of Io, but this galaxy itself. Uh, learning about uh, the ancient race known as the Astari and of uh, the individuals, your... Uh, Ancestors, I believe. Uh, the Aurorans. I always get ancestry and descendants and all that mixed up, but I believe it is your ancestors. Uh, the Aurorans, who uh, uh, this ship that you're currently on was once operated by them. Very much uh, old world technology uh, that is over here. So um, after acquiring uh, some information about the history of how Io came to be, uh, in addition to how Io was shattered from a thousand years ago, uh, you sort of explored a paused moment, uh, a fabric, a tear within uh, reality itself. Learning a little bit about the Lagos Project and facing off against a nightmare of a, of, of uh, the past of, of heroes from 
from from the yesteryear, uh, which was Lagos, the failed simulacrum, this sort of just that this failed experiment that was botched up within this tube with very powerful eldritch magics controlling something called the cosmos millicrum that took shape of um distorted uh distorted forms of the goblin heroes from a thousand years ago during this time uh zug took the form of an ancient uh <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what? I, I meant to do this before, so we're gonna jump ahead a little bit. Felsa, can you do me a favor and give me a history check? Uh, a history oh. check? Oh, All whoa. right. Mm -hmm. Fucker. Whoa, whoa. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, 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 It's important because you're from Alabaster. True. That's a Wait, 10. you are? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, so I'm an Alabasterian human. <laughs> so, Felsic. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's common knowledge amongst Alabastarian, uh, the legends, uh, and this, this is the connection that you'll make from getting back here. Uh, there is, uh, in fact, some big history, uh, within the Al 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 uh, Alabaster region, um, of the last Alking, uh, who was Ron Luxpin. Oh, no. Who <laughs> vanished well oh, no. over 500 years ago. Oh, Okay. And huh. so, so that would would have been uh, <laughs> sort of like Not... a, a light bulb moment for you, <laughs> it, it, depending on how you would re react to that. <laughs> Got it. Um, that was the last All King. Uh, Braun was the the last uh, mighty All King, uh, who was said to go on a grand journey uh, after being greeted by a wise old sage uh, who was said to be one of the one of the wise ones of yesteryear before they all vanished as well uh an old elderly the story goes that this old elderly man uh, approached Bronn, uh all king Bronn, within his throne um and after a conversation was had uncertain of what it was Bronn realized that he he had a uh, mission, had a journey that he had to go to. One final thing. And since then, uh, K all King Braun Luxpin vanished. His origins unknown. Or his where he went unknown. Noted. So, uh, sorry, I meant to, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's, the... that's okay. That's yeah, all right. Yeah, but I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. You're Alan no, that, that, so that you might important. know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lawman's glowing right now. Um, so. <laughs> so uh, yes, uh, um, uh, Zug took on the form of Bron Luxpin, uh, as. Drask took on the form of Zahani, and the bomb took the form of Clarent, but like a slime version of Clarent. And uh, yes, after you all dispatched of the uh, Lagos, the failed simulacrum, saved by uh, this sort of mutated Frankenstein of a half ogre by the name of Dungo, uh, you would be re ripped back returned uh, from the lift almost as if time was to rewind back pulling you just just forcefully pulling you out of the black star mark um which one of you would be holding the key fragment i uh. can't determine who would be i would need a d20 roll from everyone who would like to hold onto the key fragment and whoever rolls the highest will be the bearer of the key fragment for the lost city of Atlas. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna put roll. my hat in that ring. Uh, partially, nope. It's not me because mm -mm. of uh, mm -mm. this not being me. a fight that Clint did. Oh, it is a Zug versus Tomato. All right. Get out. So owned. Oh, uh, well, it's, so it's okay. Bomb will just kill you as soon as you come out. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and I'll try. Just, oh, he'll shit. succeed, dude. Summons gorilla. Summons so, fucking and... robot. <laughs> <laughs> so as you'll feel the lift you'll so you'll be kind of like pulled back into this darkness um and it is it's very disorienting and then you'll feel uh yourself be lifted up 
and you'll feel underneath your feet the churning of machinery. And as the light raises up, you will see the uh, you will see the lift return back to the room that you had departed for entering the mark of the black star. Can I ask a question? Please. Do you practice all these D and D sounds like in front of the mirror? Nope. Cool. Very it's nice. All natural. I, like I can't. <laughs> that was good. I like that. I like that. <laughs> You're off to a good start. Hey, thanks. <laughs> um. So yeah, you'll you'll the 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 lift will hit up, and you're within this room, uh, back in this room, uh, and you will see everyone has reverted back, uh, to their normal selves. Do we remember anything? Oh yeah, that happened. In okay. fact, uh, for, the, for the those uh, that were uh, their alternate characters, uh, you, <clears throat> each of you. And, I, and let's let's go through the list for that first. Uh, each of you have the option to know as little or as much as your characters did uh, from phase two now that you've had a successful okay. memory link. And this may, uh, you may uh, and ultimately you may decide how that would affect your character. Uh, you can literally say that you don't remember any of it. You can say you remember all of it. You can say that you remember the life that you lived from as a previous character. But, but I'm going to go around real quick. We'll start from the top and go to the bomb. The bomb. What would you say the bomb's memory is of the experience that I just went through? Oh, damn. When you said top to bottom, I thought I used to be at the bottom. So I was like, all excited to go last. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, we'll move on. Uh, Drask. Uh, I'd say Drask only remembers Zahani's rage, the things he was extremely angry about, specifically towards the end of Phase 2. Okay. Zug. I, <laughs> I want Zug to remember everything, just because of yeah. the incomprehensible <laughs> amounts of knowledge <laughs> that he like... <laughs> Like he, on he, the floor. Like it all is Zuck imparted, is but he can't sort through it because this is like what fifteen hundred years or one thousand yeah. years of uh, knowledge. It, it, it would be uh, holy shit. No, you're right. Yeah, uh, yeah take a fucking that. insanity check every single time. <laughs> you try to hold shit. Yeah, I would. I I believe it would have been actually yeah a thousand years of knowledge. Oh my and, god! And, no, wait, and because wait, wait. Of this, Wait one second. I'm I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Only 500 years of knowledge because the only knowledge you tapped uh, was from a uh, Braun oh, at from the current, end of phase yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. you are not wouldn't be even aware of Braun's history uh, unless you made a successful history check that Braun was an all king of Alabastar. So yes. Regardless. So yeah, five, still 500 years, like actually 500 years of knowledge because of what Braun went through. It's, so it is imparted into Zug, but he can't sort through it like consciously because all of it, you know, while some things would make sense to be more important than others, right? because it's just a big memory dump, He's, you see him just like his mind is just swirling for a good moment here as he's like not able to make direct connections that, you know, would be possibly the most useful but he sure. does retain so what's uh, you, you've mentioned like Zug kind of like stumbles over to the lift and is currently just yeah go go for that moment let me let me let's see what happens what's going on you see as the lift comes to a stop he stumbles and like loses his footing and sort of falls back against the railing of the lift and just <laughs> He looks like he's having a wicked brain freeze <laughs> as he just mumbles to himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a little a little wrench in this and actually ask uh how's Felsic feeling right now after seeing Yo, she looks like she's seen a fucking ghost. <laughs> and she kinda has mm -hmm. in a way. What's her like general demeanor, would you say? She's like, points at him. Dude, what the fuck? 
what the fuck? But like what the on his fuck? own, not as a response. Just <laughs> you like turned into the all king of alabaster, dude. I knew your name sounded familiar. What the fuck? Why? I. It doesn't make sense. And he starts just fiddling in his pocket for like uh, some sort of like grounding tool, some sort of grasp of like reality. <laughs> He's just. Right. Oh my god. What Find some, the like fuck? copper wire you yeah. just like feel it. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, a wrench. Oh my god, finally modern tech. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 500 years. <laughs> okay. Um I'll go back to the bomb for this one then. For the bomb the bomb and this is a pretty interesting thing that i i've been i've been thinking about is that unlike everyone else here that had like a connection to the memory the bomb already kind of subconsciously had been channeling it through mito since the start he'd hmm. been able to pull the memory of like model and stuff and like the like the ideas of these goblins with mito since mm -hmm. the beginning so i think the bomb would remember pretty much everything at this point because he was already pretty much at the curve of that and i i actually will add and i'm glad you came to that conclusion is that is the reason why mido is able to shift into those previous goblins it wasn't as a aha funny moment like that's that's a that's a meme it would it literally is because of your latent memory of uh these important goblins who were once a part of Connor's life um so uh and it, not to interrupt but so what ultimately what is the conclusion that you've, you've come to about the bomb and and what is retained i think that the bomb is able to very casually access the knowledge of clarent but is very isolated from it as if he's looking at an idiot that was fumbling around with a bunch of goblins for, like observing uh multiple seasons of campaigns <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Like a like a fly on the wall able to watch this idiot babysit goblins for many almost, a month. Almost watching it from a second perspective yes. or a third perspective. Gotcha. Uh Bo. What what's going on with Bo right now? Bo is just like sitting. Sitting down, cross-legged, kind of maybe like munching on these two teeth he's still holding, and he's just like, nom, 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 and he, he, he kind of like looks up and he's yeah. like, "Man, it would have been uh, nice to get that baby, huh?" And he goes, nom, 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 nom. "That's it. That's, the one. <laughs> That's deranged." <laughs> <laughs> that is classic Bo. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right. Now that that info has been shared, uh, the floor is yours. The stage is set. The game is unpaused. We know what you guys want to do now. How oh. many more days until... Uh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Are you going to ask about the hedgehog thing? Are you actually no. about to ask about <laughs> the hedgehog? I'm going to no. kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... No. All right. Would you like to know how many days you have remaining? Yeah. Uh, I think we're at 28. Uh, <laughs> I want him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. Felsic just looks really pale. Um, I'm sure there's like a lobby somewhere here on the spaceship where we could just go like find some couches or something. Just take a minute to oh my God, unpack whatever so nice. the fuck that was. Oh my God. Yeah. I've unpacked it. No. Awesome, buddy. Yes, I've processed all of this. Um, like a little supercomputer. So I will let you know, uh, um, as far as trying to find suitable places of rest, uh, if you go oh, uh, from the panel from a couple of sessions ago, uh, you saw the, the two options uh, with the uh, with the bomb saying three of them. Um, but the two options that were up on this panel uh, included uh, a, a set of living quarters and the fuel depot but you can also continue your exploration up here with the friendly reminder that there are still rogue um automatons roaming about 
Oh. You are still right. in a place of danger. Well, uh, if if everyone else needs some time to unpack what just happened, maybe we backtrack or perhaps go to the living quarters. Are you, uh, are you guys hungry? Hmm. I'm a little hungry. Yeah. yeah. I'm starving. Yeah. Hmm. Bleh. You know what Bo is shooting for right now? Huh? He's gonna huh? cook that T-Rex. Bo, oh, as you approach the panel, what are you doing? <clears throat> Bo's just looking around at it. I think he knows better at this point not to uh, touch too much of it. This teeth he's holding, or tooth is still kind of, he's munching on it, drool, and looking at the... You'll look over at the panel, uh, and you will see the two options. Living quarters? Uh, li living quarters G. Uh, and the fuel depot. Hey, uh, it says some stuff over here. The uh, living and the uh, G and uh, well, well, what do you want to go? Living sounds kind of good. I like living. <laughs> That's the spirit. You good, man? You, you good. still got it in you, bud. I just there's just so much, so much. You gotta isolate yourself from it and kind of stand next to the memory, you know what I mean? The thoughts. Zug reaches for Felsic's hand. <gasps> oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Show, Bo show jumps off. across and he, he whips out his, his uh, book and he's just writing in it. And just, you know, drops the tooth where he was before and just looking. Yeah, she'll grab him and offer him a brace. Like, hey, dude, okay, we're gonna get you to living quarters. We gotta sit down and sort out whatever the fuck that was. Thank you. Yeah, buddy, I got you. <sighs> well, to living quarters then. Okay. Yeah, the bomb is very confident now in interfacing with this, and he's gonna press it himself. Oh yeah, you just watch Whoa. as like he is now very confident here. You'll watch as the bomb kind of form. Would you say that he forms almost some some digits extended upon his hand? Uh, well, conveniently enough, this art actually does have digits on its hands. <gasps> oh, Gross little God. goblin hands. Hmm? Is it, is it like it, his own, like, considered humanoid hands, or would it be that of Clark? I think these would be his. I, I think very much fly on the wall. He doesn't, I don't think Understood. he'd ever really manifest Clark's hands. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, so you'll just kind of watch as the, 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 the arm just kind of... And you'll see the digits form. You'll actually see this well-formed hand, and then boop, boop, beep. And All then, right, I did it. And then, and then you'll you'll just you'll just hear you'll hear. Please step on the lift. Oh. All right. Autobots, and... roll out. <laughs> Autobots, uh -huh. roll out. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. <laughs> and so you guys will descend down to the living quarters. <clears throat> Dude, I unlocked hands, guys. <laughs> One moment, please. I kind of always pictured him with, like, blobby hands with, like, I mean, not like a full set of five normal looking fingers with like a couple like little noodles at the end i mean he has like a finger gun in the last art oh true well. that might be yeah that might be what it is well well um i'm pretty sure at the end of today's session we'll be taking a look at the full cool. bomb art yes <gasps> mm, excuse me okay you'll feel a <laughs> as the as the lift will uh, descend down now loading while we're descending uh, I'd like to give uh, Felsic, Zug, and Drask um, my inspirational speech or motivational speech Okay. Not, not Bo. Okay. I don't have enough for everyone, <laughs> and usually Bo's doing pretty good for themselves. So. Oh, so, oh! I, you threw me off in the speech. I, 
I was like, oh, inspiration. And then he said speech. And I was like, oh, is he going to start saying something? Because of what happened? And no. What? Sorry. No. No, he's... <laughs> didn't you I think the most motivational unpacked? thing of all is how together the bomb's shit is right now. Is the most inspirational <laughs> that thing That is possible. really inspiring. All right. You would descend down. And, uh... <laughs> And a gentle quiet falls over this this uh, restful area. You're free to move about. Someone should probably go scout ahead, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The bomb will do his little periscope hand thing around the corner of the hallway. Okay. He'll kind of stare forward and immediately see uh, a window that peers out into space. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, you'll the notice a series of several doors. And then I think he's just going to pretty quickly just poke his eye beneath each of the doors and see if uh, he sees yep. like any automatons in them or anything like that. Yeah. So um, are you doing a full? He's going to do the whole, all all six doors here. Okay. So yeah, you'll kind of start doing a, a, a peer of each one. Um, over to the south, uh, you will see a series of uh, what appears to be uh, small living quarters, uh, each of them standard with their own old panels that you're unfamiliar with. Um, but you'll kind of like look out here as you sort of turn around to do there. And immediately you'll notice off in the distance the mines that are hovering around Triangles. the station. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Triangles. <laughs> oh, fuck. Danger triangle. <laughs> and then you'll go into uh, what appears to be some sort of kitchen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey. You don't go in, but you peer. Yeah, but when he peers, he sees another door. Yep. Are you going to check it out? He doesn't see anything in here. He's going to go check the last room. He said he was going to scout the place. Going to do it right. And then you see what appears to be some kind of like dining area. And that's it. All right. Yeah, Bob will walk back to the others, or slide back to the other. <sighs> hey, it's uh, it's good. All right, all clear. I okay. can't How walk past. Get, uh, <laughs> There's bedrooms. Help. I can't walk. Can't I was like banging out. his head on What's the wall. What's the matter with all of you? Oh. Banging it like really hard. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, it was. <laughs> And uh, and he got through. Just step <laughs> down oh, here. Shit. There you go. Jeez, it was lagging. Something happened. <laughs> That's got a little dent on his head, and he keeps moving <laughs> forward. Can't believe, can't believe it lagged like that. That was weird, guys. Am I yeah, right? Guys. So weird. Is this a bathtub? Says Bo. Sorry. <laughs> These are all bedrooms. This is a kitchen. And then there is a table. Uh, no, they are just uh, sort of like uh, small single beds. Uh, when you mm -hmm. lay on them, they stretch out to your form, so that way that you <gasps> can that you'll be comfortable to sleep. Whoa! Hey, uh, that says that says anyone hungry? Is there even food? Like this is old tech, right? This thing's probably oh, jumps like on it. hundreds of years old. <laughs> And then you'll see this thing spray uh, some gray fluid onto the floor. <laughs> uh. All right, everyone, eat up. Bo, <laughs> <laughs> oh, please make a constitution saving throw. Uh-oh. But be careful. Oh. <laughs> don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Save. No, 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 hold on. I also have to check because I think you're a loaderite. Yes, you are. So uh, you get to make a constitution saving throw at advantage. So uh, roll again, Ooh. but with a shift click. You got it. Oh yeah! Wow. Uh, Bo, you immediately begin retching as you. Eat. I love uh, watching my teammates get owned. <laughs> uh, as you're eating fifteen hundred old, a uh, year old, uh, <laughs> food replacement. Nah. How do you turn the icon again? Is it like R? Is it T? <laughs> what do you Q? mean? Where you like make them? Uh, it's control yeah, scroll wheel control or shift scroll. scroll wheel. Oh shit! I didn't also. I also didn't know how to do that. No, well. dude. No, we can do better. Uh, Felsic is going to bow her head and with both hands present a bag of white cheddar cheesy puffs to oh. Doug. 
just not going. I didn't okay. open them yet. Do you want to share? The bomb is the only one that goes up to the collapsed bow. Do you want to <laughs> cheddar cheesy puffs with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, are we, uh... <laughs> so first of all, save some of those. Thank you. This is none of your business. <laughs> Bond, like, glares at Phil when they say that, <laughs> and then turns back to the retching front to get the mouth bow. Okay, let me see here. You throw it back up, he'll be fine. Uh, he starts oh, listen to the wildly. sounds coming out of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. I don't think my radiation regeneration works like a uh, lay on hand, so I can't cleanse Correct. poison with it. Correct. So, well, there's not much the bomb can do, but just kind of support Bo in these trying times while everyone else eats cheesy pops. Brask, <laughs> Brask, bro. Yeah. Go give Bo CPR. Uh, we have cheesy puffs to get through. Uh, God, finally. Hey, Bob, hey. do you know how to give <laughs> oh. As soon as Drask okay. comes <laughs> over, the bomb tags out. <laughs> oh, hey, so. hey, man. What? Well, um... I was wondering if I could have some cheesy puffs. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say no to that face. He puts I'm out sorry. disturbingly detailed hands. <laughs> Please put, <laughs> put those away. But you all have these. He points at his own hands. <laughs> you ever see those cartoons <laughs> where you'll watch someone like hold out their hand and then they'll cut to a scene of a very deep hyper realistic yeah. Yeah. hyper realistic yeah. hand. <laughs> like, the like these style. are uncanny yeah, dally so I like hands. to imagine that's what is happening here. You even have like grimy fingernails made of slime. <laughs> if I give you one of mine, will you, will you just take it and go? Oh, like, see, so you don't want to. Talk yeah, to me. dude, get lost. Wow. Hey, I don't know. Maybe you there? two pick a different fucking room. The bomb points <laughs> out this building. <laughs> I'm gonna say it since no one else will. This is pathetic. Bo is dying on the ground. You pick a different here. fucking room. How many times should I hit him? Five living quarters. Pick okay, him fine. up and carry him. He's like the size of a dog. Just get the fuck out I of here. I can't deal with confrontation. Bye. Hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I! You two are pathetic. Don't close the door. You're pathetic. You couldn't hear it because the door They're is closed. pathetic. I punch Bo's chest doing CPR. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, you deal five points of damage to Bo as you begin to crush his chest. Hey, stop. He's almost back! Give me another constitution saving throw, Bo. Uh, yeah, so as you punch him in the chest, uh, he's going to vomit all over your face. I told you to stop. Good news is, he's no longer poisoned. It does. I'm a oh, fucking crazy. genius. <laughs> I did it. Wipes uh, face off. While this is no, happening, crazy. While this is happening, from outside the door, uh, fell sick and zug. What's, uh, what's happening here? She chews up a cheesy puff. Hey, dude, are you good? I just... That was a lot. And I have, like, rememories that aren't mine. You have what? Rememories. Yeah, wrote that by me again. <laughs> like, Sorry. I remember things. Okay. Memories. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, no, that was a lot. I, I have I have questions, but I don't know. I guess I, I, I eat, eat some snacks, you know? Because we got a long haul ahead of us. <laughs> Zug takes a cheesy poof and sticks it on his big uh, metal tusk. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> you look fucking stupid. Uh -oh. Sorry. And then <laughs> he eats it. <laughs> Mm. Um, from within, uh, what are the three of you doing? I think the bomb's making sure Bo's okay. Bozo. 
Hey, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Bozo is okay. You uh, you guys reckon we can get any food out of this, or uh? I mean, I don't want to vomit my guts out like that. I don't think you should eat any more of the food. Hey guys. Huh. Yeah. I huh? have a, I have an idea. What's that? Is anybody in good enough health that can carry a very large, heavy object? Every fucking day of my life. Yeah, dude, that's what I fucking thought. You're always up to carrying big, heavy things, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Big dummy. All right. <laughs> I want to try to cook the world's biggest drumstick. Oh! <gasps> that's, a, that's a good idea. Why don't we do that? Well, we're going to have to, I mean, anybody who wants to help, uh, we're going to have to backtrack. Go back to that uh, terrarium exhibit oh yeah yeah oh yeah baby yeah you're picking up what i'm putting down i'll make the fire mm. Mm. all right okay <laughs> i think we're gonna have a dino barbecue Brad. we're gonna have a dino barbecue i've been thinking about this all week <laughs> oh my goodness all right uh so uh if, if i'm understanding you correctly uh, you guys are all going to be leaving the living quarters to head back up to the atrium. Is that correct? I, yes, um, I, yeah, I guess so. If they want to. I think the bombs are going to either hang back or hang very distant from the rest of the group for a little bit. Okay. Oh, we have, uh, uh, Bo notices and doesn't want him to be left alone because he helped him through his puke episode. So he hangs back. Um, are you When you say hang back, are you staying here in the living room? Quarters, or are you staying back in the um uh, i don't know the bomb and this is i think that after what just happened with Bo, the bomb is a little bit more shaken by the fact that he does remember things of being clerent and in that group he was clerent was the guy who would you know make sure that skagzag wasn't dying in a fucking bush or something and right. like oh. you know and <laughs> now he's looking at the duality of possibly having to watch out once again as half of the group doesn't seem to care as one of their teammates is frothing at the mouth on the ground because they got poisoned. I think he's just kind of experiencing <laughs> kind of immense the deja vu. You know, it's just kind of par for the course. Yeah, it's just also kind of fucked up above board. But like, I think the bomb is right now processing the fact that he's in a situation where half the group doesn't care about the other. He ain't fucking swap off the floor. He's a raccoon positive. person. I'm almost positive Bo has the means to remove poison on themselves, and I don't. So that's my above board. And Apparently wait, I if do. we're busy. above board, you could have asked, hey, it's Bo, are you okay, buddy? I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the RP <laughs> of the like, bomb. Watch half the group yell like so at about the cheesy court. poofs. Look, right back and get some water while you guys are yelling at each other. In character, <laughs> in character right now, the bomb watched as we all came out of this traumatic situation. Bo ate poison, started dying on the ground, and two people in the corner told him to fuck off so they could eat cheesy poops <laughs> and that is some so of the us. most and i'm taking a step back here and saying that as a team is some of the craziest shit the bomb has ever seen and he's he's baffled okay. there's a part of him that's baffled like he was upset at you two when he told you to off the room. <laughs> stay bad uh oh mm. stay bad <laughs> Listen, it's like no, we're all hungry, and maybe it was <laughs> fucking space. high five. Maybe the, the grayness could have been something edible. Bo wanted to give it a shot, so no, you know, no one else would get hurt. It's it's totally rational, you know. But you, it's just you guys don't care. Fine. I I want like this isn't something the bomb would detail to the group, but <laughs> he also does know that you know Zug and Felsic watched when Bo fought earlier, and it's just one of those things where there seems to be a significant split in this group. And I think it bothers Bomb a lot. Oh. Oh, man. He ate great Damn, poison glory. And then then for himself. I, don't, I don't think he's very interested in participating in like a sudden, like everything's cool, we're good environment uh -oh. right now. Mm. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. okay. Bo has no idea. I love this. Oh. All right. So, um, I, so the general consensus I'm getting is that the uh, bomb is going to kind of like hang back a little bit. Um, but you guys are still going, You all of you are descending downstairs, but the bomb's just going to kind of like be at like 
more like at the back of the hall while everyone moves ahead. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, he and would those... just be really quiet after he yelled at Felsic and Zug when they were leaving. Okay. Uh, I think he he wouldn't be talking much anymore. And uh, Bo would stay stay by your side, I feel like, specifically because... The... Oh, I'm front. I'd say in the middle because, like, Bo has no idea. My bomb's kind of upset. He's just oh, like, I th- nah, I... anyway... Oh, I thought you were like, you know, checking up on uh, uh, the bomb because you're like, why are you back here? I'm going to I'm gonna hang out with you. But yeah, it works too. The middle sounds good. Yeah, the middle. Like I'm hanging back because I know he's hanging back, but I like don't know why. Okay. But like I'm in the middle. middle all right. Back. So you all would leave the uh, quarters area. You take the lift and descend uh, back up into the main station. Uh, we're kind of going to skip ahead a little bit as you guys will cross over uh, the nearly destroyed bridge and you return over to the corner to do... Uh, yes. Real quick. Yes. We checked every door in here, or uh, yes, you did. Knowledge. Yes. Yeah. So okay. the the five doors to the south are all living quarters. Uh, you've got a dining area over here, and you're currently within the kitchen area. You guys really haven't had a chance to explore the living quarters yet, so you're not entirely certain what it is capable of. Hmm. So okay. Um, give me one moment, please also want to make sure that <clears throat> oh yeah got my pizza we five beans are fresh jealous so weird new zealanders are so weird uh, love that bean pizza it's really good honestly that sounds great to me i, I love <laughs> i would beans. eat that yeah that sounds awesome uh okay <clears throat> so we will return back to the station. I will, uh, yes, here we go. And like I said, we're skipping ahead a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and move you all over here. And this is kind of like the general consensus I'm seeing where Bomb's sort of hanging back, being a bit quiet and, alo- and aloof. Um, it's obviously up to you guys, uh, Drask, Felsic, Zug, and Bo, whether you notice that or not. Uh, it's not something that the bomb, I think, is is personally hiding. Um, and yeah, you guys are heading down. You're at the bottom there, and this door, which is already open, leads to the atrium, uh, where the corpse of that uh, T-Rex is. You're free to do the stage is yours. Uh, by the way, also a friendly reminder to Zug, uh, this dead uh, dr- uh um, drone, uh, the droid, uh, defender unit is still there. You weren't able to oh, yeah. successfully salvage that. It will take a couple of hours to attempt, uh, again, mm. though. Oof. Okay, so, you two are gonna, like, do all the messy and heavy stuff. Yeah. Um, I'll probably work on this bot, and then just tell me when you want the fire. Cool. Sick. Cool. All right, let's go chop up a dead thing. Hey, Toots, you coming? Yes. And this is where I pause as Felsic turns the corner. Oh, You're going to oh. watch as two defender units are surrounding around the T-Rex. Do oh, they... my God. <laughs> Do... <laughs> That's ours. Do they spot you? We'll let fate decide because no one was making any attempt of being stealthy. Fate has favored you this day. They are no, they're not paying attention to you, uh, and you catch yourself before you move any further. Yeah, she snaps her arm out to catch Drask. Yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Look at that. What are they doing? Are they mad we killed their doing. pet? They seem to currently be just observing the area. Uh, while this is happening, because I don't want to deny an RP moment, mm-hmm. uh, Bo. Uh, you kind of shout out to the to uh, the bomb, like, are you you're coming, correct? Mm-hmm. What's the bomb yeah. do? Uh, he's gonna nod, but he's gonna be coming along pretty slow. I mean, he doesn't know there's any danger. Okay. And he's just kind of he's kind of in his own head a little bit right now. Okay. Zug, you'll begin working on the uh, construct, which will take you some time. <laughs> and fel- yeah. and fell sick. You're you're holding back Drask now. And what are you two doing? I just I just want to see what they're doing. Are they like picking at anything, or are they just looking around like nimwits? Uh, you're free to do an investigation check. That's what I would like to do. Uh, hang on, guys. Watch this super good investigation check. That's oh, a super good investigation check. 
Um, so from their general pattern, I, I would say from you being around a ton of robots, especially uh, being around oh, Zug, who I works with automations, um, you would see that they're currently just, they're investigating. Uh, you'll kind of watch as their head will bow, bow down, and you'll see a flicker of light within their one iris uh, scanning over the body of the T-Rex. It's almost as if they're trying to gather data and inspect what exactly happened here. Aww. Zug. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's gonna hold up uh, two fingers and then point at that robot and then point his thumb back at the door. Does, does Bo see this? Oh, wait, hang on. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, Bo see that. <laughs> ah. You want me to go in there? <laughs> no, there's two robots. I didn't want to talk in case they could hear me. I don't know if they have ears. Shh. Oh. oh. <laughs> no. Bo, Bo turns around and like yells. Hey, Tots, apparently there's some other uh, robots in the room. The bomb is moving forward at the exact same pace he was before. Okay. Uh, it breaks my little heart. <laughs> so are you guys all still just standing at the door? Yeah, Let's I mean... Let's get him. You think we should? More parts? More parts. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I can't say no to that. Both hey, can we be a little bit worried. Can we not touch the console this time? I don't want to get, like, poisoned, zapped again. Yeah. Or I can take a look at it. Well, maybe you do it now and you fuck them up before we go in. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to sneak to the console. Stealth check, please. Uh, but, but, uh, well, I'm making the movement anyways. We'll see how stealthy I was. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, not going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right. So, uh, while all that's happening on, I, simultaneously, uh, just waiting for Tomato to get back. Uh, you mentioned the, uh, Bo that the bomb, or that, sorry, uh, you mentioned that Bo was a little worried. Mm -mm. Yeah, because he notices that the bomb's like really slow. Sulking it's like by. not normal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once Tomato gets back, we can, uh, explore that further. God, should I get Taco Bell? Um, <gasps> no. You should get cheese roll ups. With cheesy roll ups. Please. Please. Cheesy roll ups. Say cheesy roll ups. <laughs> with the cheesy dip. <laughs> now that'll knock me out of AFK. Um, now, that just got me running back into the room. <laughs> yeah, the wireless headset and everything. Holy shit. Um. So anyways, uh, so yeah, this is about to fucking go down, uh, but before it does, because this was mm -hmm. all simultaneously happening, uh, Bo mentions that Bo is starting, is starting to get worried about the bomb. Uh, so Bo, what do you do? Um, I, mm, I think I'll, I'll still yell, but like in a quieter yell, mm -hmm. like, hey, thoughts, hey, thoughts, thoughts, you okay? The bomb doesn't put up a thumbs up, but instead puts up a thumb sideways. <gasps> Bo, like, runs oh my God. behind Drask. It's like, <laughs> like, uh, like, gets his clothes and just, like, yoinks on it. You know, like, hey, 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 dude. Yeah, you, you gonna fight too? <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and as you hear that, you just hear... Intruder alerts, intruder alert. As the Fuck. drones have recognized Zug walking in with his toothy <laughs> smile about to go over. <laughs> but then, Turns out a bunch of metal, like corrugated metal and scrap <laughs> is not very quiet to walk in. Uh, all right. We're entering combat. Oh. <laughs> hey, rump. Oh, no. Rumpf. Hey, hey, stop that. Mm. Hey, none of that. <laughs> well, here we are. Okay. And that, you'll just see them and then they'll just activate into a, uh, a a battle position. Making sure I didn't roll for the dead T-Rex because that would have been fun. I did it. Awesome. Okay, let's begin. You got to earn your T-Rex barbecue. 
Okay. Uh, taking a look over here. All right. I have to remember what these guys do. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah, this one will start to... And as it holds up its hand, you will see that it is... Uh, you will see its hand, uh, like, bend down unnaturally, revealing a laser cannon that will immediately be fired at the intrusion. Oh. A.K.A. Zug. 23, I believe, will it hit? Yes. It will hit. Four points of radi uh, radiant damage. Ooh. Uh, and, uh, yeah, another shot. <laughs> that will also hit 11 points of damage. As you'll just watch as Zug just immediately gets hit by these two radiant blasts. <laughs> Zug. No. <laughs> um... By the way it's walking, does it seem to be coming for the stairs? Or how how tall are these things? Like, uh, will they be able to all, come in a straight line? Uh, they are uh, over 10 feet tall. And yes, they, they oh. would be able to crawl up. Oh. Okay. Right. In that case, um, so I'm just going to reach into his bag and pull out a large spinning blade and deploy it. Oh, under the field. Let's, let's see it. Buh. Buh. And then, let's see. Bull! Do... It's hard to tell what a square is. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Gonna make a dexterity save. Check this out. <laughs> nice. And yeah, you'll just... It just starts slashing away, and you'll see it, like, can see you get knocked back and forth and and it's still just uh yeah it's it's still moving forward but this time a little bit more injured than before okay um i don't have super great bonus action economy so could i use my bonus action to examine the console uh yes you can all right uh, boom. All what right. Buttons these do? Whoa. Uh, so, uh, this panel, uh, controls a couple of things, including, uh, reviving subjects that have been frozen here within, um, the biosphere. There was only one subject available, the Time Rhinosaurus Rex, and you can actually see that it was already unfrozen. Uh, other panels allow you to set the environmental controls of what is within this area. You are also able to set it on a timer, which means it doesn't have to activate immediately. Uh, the panel also has a delayed lock, uh, allowing you to control uh, the lock to the room itself. If you do wish to uh, set a delay lock to the door, it will automatically close as you and lock as you leave. Hmm. Okay. Currently, the environment is set to fall. <laughs> hmm. What would be the most damaging to a robot? <laughs> Probably not temperature. Um, God. No, I don't press anything or do anything. That's not for me. Uh, I'm going to back up after having accidentally been revealed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> And this one just will sort of like bend down uh, with its mechanical knees. And you'll just hear and see this as this thrust of flames just kind of like burst down, uh, propelling it up and landing over here and then looking up at you guys. And that is this full round. Felsic. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna run up to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flare up with that sort of radiant golden light and enter my rage. Okay. I'm going to. Primal rage, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna. Nineteen. Did I set you on a primal? I, hold on, I have to check. Is that? I can re-roll that. I rolled a two on that, I think. Oh, there it is. It delayed. Uh, oh. oh. That's why I was trying to figure out. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, you're doing reckless attack, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, you can re-roll the d12. 
Okay, no, I'm, I'm just gonna... Yeah, a 25. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. Bash? I, 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 I rolled again. Oh, I see you doing. Because... Yeah, that works. That works for me. Uh, so you'll take... Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Crisis yeah. averted. Uh, you're gonna take 25 points of damage. And then I'm just gonna do a little... Uh... <clears throat> okay. Oh, don't what? worry about that. Don't worry about what that. Is, what don't worry is about that? that? Okay, right. I'm not worrying about it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I'm gonna continue my action then. Okay. Ooh, oh. Ooh baby! That's a oh, damage. Boy. What the fuck? Oh, that's a max damage on the primal yeah. rage. God, I love the feeling of crunching a robot. <laughs> I'm uh, just going to do that roll. What okay. is All that? Right. What is All that? All right, 28 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> and yeah, you're just slashing through. Uh, Yeah, actually, hang on a minute. Um, I didn't have my character sheet open on. I, I have it open on like D&D Beyond too, just so that I don't have to hold the I understand. window open. Understood. I just, I just got to check something super, super quick. Mm-hmm. Also, as a friendly reminder, uh, you have inspiration. You can spend inspiration as a legendary action you're so at the end right. of the creature's turn. <laughs> you're so right, dude. Yeah, sure. I'll do that instead. I'll spend my inspiration. In It'll be at the end of your round. Is that, are you sure about that? I was, actually, yes. I, was, I was wondering if inspiration yeah. was going to come up because I was like almost going to be like, actually, the bomb doesn't give <laughs> no. inspiration to anyone. Because <laughs> 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 I, I, I have a few delicious little snacks on my platter right now, uh, and I just had to pick which one. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll burn my inspiration and seek another action. Okay, which means you're not Yo. taking a bone. Oh, you took your bonus action. To I rage, just so I already good. took my bonus action. Yeah, she yeah, drags I... her axe across the ground, sparking it up, and swings again. Ooh, what's and that? Again. Oh my God, they both hit. Uh, okay, mm, let's. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo, uh, that's gonna be uh, three points of damage to you, followed by another. Oh, I think they're both seven. Yeah, another three points of damage to you. Ay ay ay. Uh, give me one second. Beautiful. Belsic, mm -hmm. as with your final attack, as you strike down upon a creature, your radiant tattoos flares up something violent. Uh, as uh, for that final attack, a divine smite will overcome your axe, dealing an additional seven points oh. of damage. What? Oh, wow. So, right. so 44 plus, minus another seven. Yeah, you'll just immediately destroy this thing. Um, so uh, now that you are all accessing memories um, and because of the brief guidance that Braun has given you, you have gained access to a once per day divine smite as a paladin would use. Oh. So when you roll an attack, you may choose to spend your once a day divine smite, dealing an additional 2d8 radiant damage. Fun. Tapping into your uh into your your div blood, flaring it out uh in a radiant burst. All right, all right. Cool, cool. Uh and oh, hell on my turn. I'm excited. I have a new thing. <laughs> all right. And then, yeah, wow. you'll be just... That was cool. And you'll see the radiant energy just subside back into you. <laughs> did Felsic just one-shot it? Yes, Felsic did. The bomb <laughs> is your turn. Let's see, what's the bomb gonna do here? She's one, inspired. two, enter. <laughs> All right, the bomb slowly approaches. If anyone takes notice and ends their turn, Drask, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if I even noticed. Hold on. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Sing Felsic one shot this thing. Uh, he's positive she's got this. He's actually gonna head over there. Hey, you good man? You hurt? His, he subconsciously had his thumb sideways since Bo has. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh my god. Where are you pointing? Oh. The wall? His thumb melts away. <laughs> oh. What he notices. I'm. I may not be keeping my shit together as well as I thought. 
And that, uh, that, uh, double life stuff, huh? Really fucked with you. Yes. As long as you're okay. I'm going back now. Sure. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'll bonus action death. Cool. Yeah. The okay. bomb when when dress comes up, I think half of the I think bomb is seeing half dress and half cheesel in front of it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no. God, he is having a um, crisis of identity. I don't have it in my inventory, but I wanted to use the pistol I got. Okay. Uh, what role would that be? Like what attack roll? And then damage. Uh, where did you we find... didn't add that to our inventory. Oh. Uh, Zug gave it to me in the shop because I didn't buy one. He gave it to me instead. Zug, what did you get? A pistol, you said? It was, yeah, I gave him my shard. It's a shard pistol. Oh, 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 uh, it'd be, uh, 6320. Okay. Uh, let me re-click my character. Absolutely. I can't re-click my character. Reload it'll, application. Lovely. It'll come back. <laughs> that's okay. Well, that's be, what I'm doing. Don't be a baby. Uh, I'm loading I'll, it. I, I can, uh, attack yeah, if you. if you want to, like, roll it for me. Yeah, I can do that for you, bud. Uh, just kind of tapping this in. Uh, yeah, so you're just going to go ahead and, and hold your pistol, and you're uh, just seeing what you can see. Yep. Uh, you're going to... Uh, it's going to be... See how this works? <laughs> Fuck! Uh, that's it for me. Okay. And, okay, I'm back. I'm back in time to end my turn. Bo. Hmm. Can, am I able to, like... Because I can kind of see the Orion Defender unit in the back, but does um, my Moonbeam reach that far? Like, I can just, I just put it anywhere, right? If I can just cast it and go, uh, right? When you uh, click on your spell book in, with, with bow, uh, just kind oh. of tap on the Moonbeam, and on the bottom uh, of the Moonbeam's description, you'll see a series of boxes. One of them will tell you mm. the range of that. Uh, for this one, you'll see oh. it, it says 120, 120. feet. So you can cast okay. that, and the five-foot cylinder is the area of effect. Oh, I love learning. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bo's kind of like uh, 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 looking at Bomb, looking at this dead thing, looking at Felsa glowing. He just kind of like knee-jerk reaction casts uh, Moonbeam, but, you know, not as excitedly as he used to. We'll just go, mm -hmm, Moonbeam. <laughs> uh, Moonbeam. I'm going to put it right, right there. All right. I'm going to make a... Ooh. Okay, so this actually is going to do an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Um. God, so it, spin it, beam it fails, um, but it takes no damage as you watch its energy shields drop down. Huh. Oh. Lowering its armor class. Cool, okay. Uh, and then uh, Bo takes just like two steps out of vision. Just whoop. Okay. Uh, so, uh, while the spinning blade's going, it's getting the heck out of there. Uh, and it's just gonna... And you'll see it kind of like begin to... And it's stepping over the panel while it's doing that. Crawling up over it. Looking over at... Uh, Primal Felsic, it'll start attack twice. Uh, 12 and 24, dealing a mm. total of four points of radiant damage. As the Neuron Axe just, just slashes down. And then, as a bonus action, it'll hold up its hand, reactivating its energy shields that surround it. I'll return its AC back to normal. Uh, Zug... Your spinning blade is going to get a bit bigger as it starts to, uh, one moment, please. Really? I said update, you son of a bitch. Hey, there we go. Uh, actually, I think it's going to be 30. 
This yeah. is Doobie 30. Yeah, so it's just gonna start, and you're just gonna actually see as it starts like chopping down the tree that's down there, as the tree starts buckling at every hit of the spinning blade that's circling around. Uh, Zug, it's your turn. Uh, uh, scrap, scrap. Pew, pew. Uh, the twenty-three will hit, dealing nine points of damage. <laughs> Um, that's all. I'm not going to burn too much here. Else it's going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so defeatist. Uh, Elsa will do it. Elsa kills <laughs> these. Elsa kills these every time. I've seen her do it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to back up. Okay. Eh, go. Go. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's all for now. Okay. Uh, Felsic. Uh, uh, once Zog ends their turn. What the? Yeah, you know the drill, boss. You know the drill. Reckless attack. <laughs> this one kills every time. I vomit. <laughs> I vomit. <laughs> Morty, uh, you're going to deal five points of damage uh, to yourself. And uh, here's the bad Hell news. Yeah, I do. The only yeah. person that saw that was Zug. Uh, and I'm sorry, was Drask. And Drask already has inspiration. Hey, okay, that's. <laughs> I'm not the only one. That's okay. Still I don't kick need ass. people to see. She doesn't need people to see her. She just needs to destroy shit. Oh, oh my, my god. god! No fucking way. <laughs> yeah. That's. Yeah. Ins- that's- that's the wow. That's oh, a, all right. So that's going to be uh, an immediate uh, 42 points of damage uh, with that crit. Uh, you're going to take a total of seven points of damage. And that is going to end uh, the encounter. God damn, this bitch hates robots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take 2d6 damage. Um, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, I Bo am. Bo yells down the hole. Hey, thoughts, it's clear. <laughs> nice work, everyone. A bomb visibly looks dejected. Yeah, he's got that brain goo. Bo, Bo just jumps straight in, jumps over this like panel. Goes mm-hmm. straight back to the T-Rex. Just starts going. Nom, 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 nom. Oh. Oh no. Trying to eat it? I'm he think he's just trying to like rip its flesh off to because he knows we're like going there to get it to cook. You know what I mean? Not like he's not eating it. <laughs> just ripping at it. You'll watch as Bo begins doing some pretty huge chomps upon the T-Rex leg. As uh, those within the hall will just see a dejected, the bomb just slowly moving across. Uh, Would you say the bomb is looking down? I would say the bomb is thousand yards staring as now he realizes that he is basically with another barely functional group again in a different timeline. Oh no. And Uh, he's experiencing extreme deja vu right uh, now. Zug, do you notice this? Uh, yeah, looking looking back now after things are done, I would say so. <clears throat> what, uh, what are you doing? Bum, like, kind of slow, oh, probably uncomfortably, like, uncomfortable to be looking at the bomb as he moves his head this slowly to look at you. Processing. Ooh. Um, How are you processing? Not well. I've just kind of tried to push it all away for now. I do not believe I can do that. Would you like to talk about it sometime? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, what's like the biggest worry for you right now well 
Hang on, what's the distance? <laughs> We're doing this over a 25 foot distance. <laughs> what are you worried about? <laughs> well, if I had to be specific. <laughs> Obama closed the gap <laughs> with his <Zach. laughs> so How long would it take uh, for, for Bo and Bo form to like get a, a leg off of this T-Rex while they're talking? Uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, you, the way you're, you're just chomping at it, yeah, you're, you're going to be at that for a minute. Can Bo uh, use his uh, transform to abomination? Uh, sure. Please. And just begin ripping across the, uh, off, off, uh, the leg. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. yep. Okay. While that's happening, I'm going to just go, go back here, though. Well, if I had to be honest, I've been somewhat carefully going through the memories I seem to have access to now. And initially, I thought it was fascinating and fun to do that. But now, not so much. You see, those goblins, when one of them would fall out of a window and smash their head and get a concussion, everyone would just kind of laugh and say, that's funny and strange, and they wouldn't try to help their friend. They would just let them remain concussed for for weeks. And right. then to watch Bo eat poison, and I know you specifically were very distracted, but to see two people of our group fully uninterested in the danger they were in, despite the fact that it was classic bow, we can all admit. It was still deeply demoralizing to watch as half of our group does not seem to always care about the well-being of the other half. Right. I get that. But also... Uh, it's hard to I don't know don't you think Bo's been in worse situations that was hardly the most impulsive thing they've ever done I've just grown numb to it to be frank looking back at everything that I mean, I don't know what you've seen, but from what I've seen, it is not a benefit to ignore the horrible maimings of someone in your party because they've experienced worse. But it seems like at this point, it's an active choice. It just worries me to see us I mean, lose interest in the... Oh, I didn't lose just interest, but if they're going to they subject themselves record. to lethal doses of radiation. But and... this wasn't about that. This was about. I Are we? I don't see the is difference. Is this actually about that to you? Yes. One is lethal radiation. One is poison. They seem to be all right. And I know they can, if they wanted to probably take care of themselves but while you're choose talking not to. you immediately hear the ripping of flesh and sinew as the distorted Ugh. sounds of bow is ripping apart uh the t-rex <laughs> that's inside <laughs> oh. like i don't know you know what i mean i understand to an extent but I also, I suppose I feel more of a responsibility for the well-being of this group as, well, partially the reason Bo is like that. Mostly the reason Bo is like that. Yeah, mostly, yeah. And also, simultaneously being one of the only people here that can properly heal. It just does not make me comfortable to see how people in our party react to anyone, be it Bo or if it were me on the ground, frothing at the mouth from eating poison. At the very least, put away the cheesy poops. <laughs> I don't know. 
I, number one, I don't think you have a mouth to froth from. Number two... Mom tries to create a mouth. <laughs> if we were beholden <laughs> to everything that Bo does, we would be constantly just picking up after them. I think letting them exist as they are should be the way we go forward. If we are going to choose to travel with someone, you are responsible for the decisions they make. As far as I am concerned, they are part of this group and therefore we should watch out for them and not simply accept that they will put themselves into danger and shrug when they do. That is part of the commitment of being in a group. I understand that, but growing up in the scrapyard, you had to be strong, you had to be smart, and luckily I had my brother to lean on for half of that, but at some point, they have to take responsibility as well. Well... Oh. I don't believe the best time to teach them responsibility is when they are on the ground. And I think that's all the bomb's gonna say. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Zug's heading to scrap. <laughs> Trask, are you listening to the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> you trying to whistle now? Little snake. <sighs> oh, hey. Feeling better? A little bit. That's good. How are you? Uh, I think I'm doing better than both of you because I barely remember anything. I'm sorry that I called you a racist. That I mean, wasn't I, me. I don't think that was me. That was him. It's. I'm still not taking this thing completely. Is that me? Was that me? I do not know. Oh, Whenever I've observed these memories, it's kind of been as if I was in the room, but not really in control of Clarent in this instance, which honestly, I got to get rid of this thing. And some points at the mascot outfit. Now it's <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's like your old skin. I don't like it. You want me to like cut it up? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I'm gonna take it over here in this corner so he can't see and just rip it to shreds. Are you making like noises while you're doing that? Are you like, ha, ha, ha. Okay, like it's like, <laughs> like I'm fighting? Ripping. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna slash it with my daggers like I'm fighting. I was like, what are you doing uh, during this conversation? While yeah? this is happening, what are, what are, what are uh, Elsie doing? Yeah, after um after after cutting up these robots, she'd sort of just taken a really long exhale uh and slid and sat down against this wall, uh sort of pressing her head back against like the coolness of it. Uh I think you've probably seen like you've probably seen her like this before. Uh because one, she's a fucking stoner. Uh and two, she does go into rage a lot in combat, but she looks sort of like she looks almost high, but she's just sort of staring off as she sort of lets this radiant, uh, like, afterglow sort of, like, leave her vision, basically. Mm. And her, her hands are real cut up from this axe. Like, they're, they're a little fucked up, and she's sort of, like, wiping them off on her pants. Um, the bomb, do you take note of this? I mean, yeah, I think the bomb takes note, but I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, I guess he'd walk up, actually. You're glowing. I see. Thanks. Uh, you've done it before. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, just, uh, just after effects, you know? I see you, uh. Looks at the dead robots with massive X marks in them. 
she slowly turns her head to actually make eye contact. Dude, I cannot fucking stand robots. I know. You've established. They're, they're, I just, they're real creepy. Like, that's just my honest opinion about robots. Well, I mean, the last couple times you fought robots, you've cried. Did you cry this time, <laughs> or are you getting better about it? Whoa. No, I, no, I didn't cry this time. Then it sounds like you're improving. Ah, uh, I think you're onto something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe you just gotta keep throwing yourself at an obstacle before you can break it down, you know? Yes. Yeah, I know you would. Yes. <laughs> I think that there, as much as the bomb would also love to have a word with Felsic, I he, after he just had like a pretty intense conversation with Zuggy, he's no interest in getting yep. into it no, in the it. next room. So he's just kind of hanging out now. Uh, yeah, she would eventually. Uh, slowly stand up and brace her axe against the ground to get herself on two legs. I'm gonna go get dinner, I think. Nice. I'm just gonna vault over the edge and go help Bo chop up the Rex. Yeah, as you hop over, you will see the Abomination has ripped and tore through the corpse of the T-Rex as the Abomination. Um just as all the limbs have been just 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 aggressively ripped off this creature mm -hmm. completely beheaded uh the only thing left of uh, of the abomination's rage uh would be just the the meaty pulps that were left behind with the t-rex oh buddy wait the wait above board that's not what i was trying to do i swear i was just trying to help <laughs> I was trying to get the, the leg off while everyone was fighting. Oh. I mean, to be to be fair, I don't imagine Abomination would have that kind of clarity. Oh. Hmm. I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> oh, you're good. Um, no, I mean, so there, it's still, you still have, like, the legs ripped off. It's just, like, I, this, this is just more of, like, the rest of it is just this big pulp that as you just ripped it apart. So, yeah, you know, okay. you, you still managed to salvage the leg. Just the rest okay. of it is just, you know, gone. Okay. Okay. I'm there. <sighs> hey, that's. <laughs> hey. That's... I, uh. Y'all were, you know, doing stuff, and, you know, I'm, I'm hungry. So, I, here you go. I, uh. Ready to go, you ready? <laughs> oh fuck, it's gone! <laughs> it's all gone! Bro, I, I you were so it, uh, hungry! Whoops. Okay, Wait. well I'm gonna try to scavenge some <laughs> shreds of T-Rex meat off the dirt like an animal. Alright, uh, you salvage a 125 pound T-Rex leg. Damn! Oh, fuck Sweet. yeah! <laughs> Are we like... I'm gonna carry this thing. Hey, Tuts, you, uh, you take one and I take the other and we uh, drag it on up, hey? Eh? There is one leg. <laughs> I mean, like, what, what, what I mean when the other leg? Like, I'm gonna be honest. To carry it I, don't, to I don't actually right. need help, I think. Funny enough, she does not need help. Yeah. Bo nice. actually visibly looks a little bit disappointed and sad. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Like, Bo just finished doing this entire thing for his team, and Belsic was like, I don't need help. I'm and sorry, <laughs> okay? It's just I have a really high carry weight. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm, Bo, under his breath, is like, okay, that's. <laughs> okay. Do you, would you like a toe? No, uh, no, that's Bo, okay. You want a toe? These are some pretty big toes. You can carry one. Uh. Okay. Okay. Oh God, no! Christ. What's up? No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> okay. Yep. What perfect. the fuck? Just getting the value oh. of the uh, the T Rex leg, which is 530 credits. Oh. Whoa. Okay. 100 D10. That's crazy. All right. Um. 
Uh, so will you guys be waiting the hour required uh, for Zug to try and extract from this one uh, construct? If no. Zug is doing that, then the bomb's going to extract more resources from one of these ones. All right, go ahead and... Yeah, don't see why not. Go right. ahead and... Yeah, give me two survival checks for that. We're having a downtime day anyways. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Two from me? Yes, please. One's a nine, one's a ten. Okay, um, so you will successfully extract about 21 credits worth of um, of construct fluid. Cool. Putting you at 104 credits. And I have like a bunch of other drinking materials yep. in like some so you, other form, right? So you have 104 uh, credits of construct fluid. You have 600 credits of mixing brew material. And, uh, oh yeah, I will have to, yeah. Did we get, I remember you saying that we were going to get, like, special crafting recipes from the flashback, uh, mm -hmm. Black Star fight. Mm -hmm. Is that something we're going to cover later, or can, like, we it'll get be these? Some, it'll be something that we cover once you take your downtime. Okay. Ooh. Which would be at the, uh, which currently your only safety area is at the living quarters. Okay. Uh, an hour will pass. Go ahead and give me Zug. Go ahead and use your uh, uh, engineer's tools, please. Can I help him? Uh, unless you are proficient, no, you may not. Oh. Uh, okay, 13 is... Taking a look here, see what the PC is. I have to check that... M because <laughs> that might actually be insufficient. I did roll a two. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. And I just feel, I just, I just feel bad. But I just watch my brother fail. Yeah, mm. a thirteen is insufficient. The, the the design of this machine is just. Oh, actually, no. Wait, you failed once before, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that does lower the DC. Uh, so, oh. you do succeed, but barely. Uh, so, let me check a thing here. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, you will salvage 147 credits worth of, uh, of crafting material, of, of scrap metal. Yeah, it's not Damn, bad. dude. Uh, increasing your scrap of 190 to three, 337. All right. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Uh, so that is an hour past. Is there anything else you guys would like to do while you're down here? Nah, I'm no. just vibing. I was like, that's a no. I was like, <laughs> are you going to cook that leg or are you just holding it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were taking it somewhere else. I mean, we could. Oh, I thought we were going to like light a fire in the in the terrarium. Yeah, Is that what we're do doing? That. Yeah, we can do that. It's, it's do even that. like a little camping ground, but like indoors. Yeah. I thought it was going to be comfy. Wait. Oh, yeah, I thought we were taking this to the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen's uh, not the big kitchen's enough. not designed for dinosaur leg. Uh, <laughs> does, we you chop it up, you know what I mean. Hey. Zug, <laughs> does Zug say that matter of factly? Like <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda yeah. You need specialized equipment for dinosaur leg. You're gonna have to make a big fire. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, give me... Oh, wait, no, I don't have to do that. Okay, cool, awesome. Sorry, I'm... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so you guys are heading on over. We get yeah, a little and I'll, I'll do a little... Going. Yeah, I'll do a little, uh... Hey, remember this skill? Survival check. <laughs> Try to get Ooh. some logs and some sticks and make a little fire. All right. Uh, I guess not a little fire, big fire. Oh, I was gonna say, Bo, like, pushes him aside... Literally uses one of his uh, cantrips. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> Whoa. Hey, Tutsis! Tutsis! Hey! <laughs> you can do that? That kicks ass. Yes, I, I, I can't do that. Ah! Bo turns around and sits down. We got any marshmallows? Right. Yes. From the bomb's memories of Clarnt in this place, is there a way that, because Clarnt did this, the goblins would do this regularly in here, is there a way that he can seal this door so that something can't just like automatically open it and come in after us while we're doing this? Yeah, so you'll kind of like easily push the slide, uh, push the door shut, and then you just kind of like, as your arm like goes into the machinery, you're able to jam the door. Well, I would quietly do that just to make sure we don't get jumped. Uh, you will notice something. <coughs> Excuse me, on the panel. Uh, oh, that yeah. is underneath here. Here, let me move this for now. This thing's not about to melt all of them. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, you will actually see a couple of buttons over to the corner. Uh, one marked uh, with a sun, which is currently uh, selected, and one marked with a crescent moon. I'm just going to press crescent moon. You'll watch as the, um, like, the entire r room's lights just sort of uh, shut down there. And then they, and then the acid starts. And, and then the, and acid the acid starts, it starts forming. Um, and then just like kind of slowly, you'll begin to see this sort of, this sort of like blue light that sort of like starts descending down kind of like, one second. Oh, there we go. One moment. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, you'll sort of sort of this as a night sky begins to illuminate and form using some uh, some illusionary magic. Mm. Oh. Dark. Nice. And then just give a second. And uh, yeah, that's what you all see. I'm gonna make a dinosaur-sized spit over the bonfire, Brent. Ooh. And then, yeah, you, you'll see as the bonfire just sort of crackles away with that. One of those rotating ones. So I can... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Using all my engineering knowledge to cook a meat. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and see what you you managed to design. Uh, with uh, engineering tools, if you'd like. <laughs> yeah. I call it the Spit Roaster 9000. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good name. Yeah. People are going to want to buy this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you'll assemble some st uh, sticks and take some scrap that you'll be able to use uh, temporarily and kind of form this giant thing that'll be used to help cook the uh cook the fire or that'll 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 cook the uh the the uh the t-rex leg over that and you'll sort of start rolling uh it you'll it'll 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 actually be able to automate uh the spin as it slowly begins oh, to cook yeah. an automated spit hell yeah and now this, that is a recipe you feel comfortably making whenever you're out camping. And yeah, as the T-Rex leg is slowly cooking, because there's a lot of meat to cook, uh, what are all of you doing? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to lay down on my back and look at the fake sky. Oh, is there like little fake stars twinkling? Yeah, yeah there's oh stars twinkling in, in the sky. I love little fake stars. <laughs> Zug lays down with Felsic and looks at the stars. Fuck yeah, this is, it's peak aesthetic. Yeah. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Does Bo or like anyone in our bags or pockets have like seasonings or things like, can I look around to see what we could put on this meat for to make it like taste better? 
Um, yeah, you're free to see if there's something around that can can emulate that. Absolutely. But that would be a survival check as you begin to like scatter around this area. Okay. I'll come under check. It's not under like under check. Like what is it's under? under it is under skills, not check. Nature. Oh, Sur I literally said it. <laughs> uh, survival, please. Oh, survival. Oh my, my. What's happening <laughs> in my brain? Am I okay? Well, yep. All right. <laughs> As you sort of scatter around here, you'll you'll notice, uh, as you take note of everything around, um, that because this is a sort of uh, foul, sort of a false area, um, there isn't any, like, spices to salvage in the area, so you don't manage to find anything. While you're doing okay. that, uh, Drask, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sort of, as this thing is cooking, because the outside would cook quicker than the inside, I would be carving it off and snacking on it a little bit because I'm impatient. Oh yeah, you're just immediately just slicing little. Yeah, cuts just while off it's spinning, spinning, I just leg. hold my blade in place oh, and it carves itself. Oh hell yeah! The bomb. I'll occasionally throw some to everybody else. You'll I. See, you'll see. Watch as everyone's just gathering around the fire. You'll see Bo digging around looking for a little bit of spices, but definitely in a safe area. And what's the bomb doing? I think the bomb is deeply paranoid being here at this point. He's got the memories of what happened here on the Goblins campaign. This place was hell. Mm -hmm. So I think he's staying right up at the top here, staring at the door. And uh, he's probably going to make a Mito buddy and guard the door, even okay. though he's closed it, because that's just how bad it was here. I think um, this is something that wouldn't be simple. You know, this wouldn't be something that you would be um, hiding uh, pretty well, I'd imagine. Um, for anyone that would care to notice, uh, yeah, you would just kind of see uh, the bomb and the Mito buddy. The Mito buddy, um, we, we're not going to roll, but for this, just because it, it'll take it'll take some a lot of time yeah. from this moment. Um, but you'll see that the Mito buddy is like it got all these variety of like gelatinous weapons spiking out, and it's like a, in a sentry mode, po uh, pointing over to the door. Uh, and you'll watch as the bomb is doing the same. And all of you could would be able to take note of that if you w wished your characters to. Uh, Bo's going to take a piece of meat with his little raccoon uh, claws, which isn't a lot of meat because his hands are super right. tiny, but he does his best. And he, he kinda... yeah, yeah, you'll notice too as well, Bo. It's like he's going to crawl up. Yeah. Because... Uh... Hey, Tuts and new Tuts. Want some oh. meat? Oh, thanks, Bo. I'm you just, like uh... Vincent. I'm just... watching the door. Yeah? Um... You wanna, you know, watch it from uh, the fire? Maybe, you know, a little, little warmth on your tush? No. 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 But that is a nice offer, but no. How many fires can can Bo make? Just one at a time. <laughs> I mean, so the the way the bonfire worked is you lit a pile of sticks um, as the fire just just kind of bursted up to kind of keep it continuous. Um, but mm -hmm. if you have any sticks remaining, you can try and make another one over here. Can I? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you'll see a bonfire uh, ignite right by you near the door. Woo! Toasty. That is toasty. Thank you, Bo. Bo sits down. Eats a little bit of the meat in between his fingers. I think it takes a little bit once this fire's lit for the bomb to like not be pointing a like readied irradiated blast at a door he's already sealed. <laughs> You'll watch as yeah. So you're saying like at that point like the bomb bomb kind of like calms a little. I bit. I think he calm a little bit at this point but like I, I think there's a part of it that's like it's not like Zug got all of his memories instantly and knew everything or like the bomb right. also kind of has to run through it slowly so there's probably like now that he's stepped back a little bit more he's going through how bad this place really was this place was bad like this was a bad scene this station mm -hmm. and I think that'd be kind of hitting him now I think Bo is like noticing the bomb like, like, what does the bomb's face look like? Is it normal? Is he, like, he's uh, going through all flat these Flat surface with an eyeball and an eye patch. 
Okay. <laughs> Boa notices and just like, hey, uh, that's you. You want, you want to talk about it? That's what's going, you know, what's happening? Well, right now it's just more of a, I mean, I've seen this place. This place is bad. Well, I mean, we're fine in here right now. I at least now remember how to work some of these doors, which is very cool, but it would be irresponsible to not watch the door. You know, if you want to take a little bit of a, of a breather, I can I can watch the door. I I don't think it would take Bo much to see in Bomb's eyes that he doesn't exactly trust you to do that. <laughs> uh, Bo, that's awfully kind of you, but I can handle it. Hey, that's okay. Well, in the meantime, I'll sit right here. Oh, gets comfy. Oh, bomb doesn't complain about that. Do you see, like, the bomb's, uh, like, sort of gaze sort of softens a little bit with Bo sitting sitting there? Like, okay, like, you can sit here as long as I'm watching the door. Yeah. Okay. And what about the rest of you? What is the, the, the uh, uh, Zug, Drask, and, and Felsic, what are you all doing? Oh, those ones kind of look like a wrench, you know, if you connect that one and that one. And then it, like, comes down. Looks like I don't, a two-sided wrench. I don't see it. Really? I'm trying so hard, but I don't see it. Oh. I'm, she, like, squints. She still doesn't see it. Kicks a rocket, Drask. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> And that one looks like a star. Which one? That one, you see it? It's the dot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dumbass. This is easy. <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys uh, do or talk about while you're continuing roasting the uh, the legs? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, and then, so for, I would say, are, are you guys taking your long rest here or are you just spending some time here before returning back to the living I think, I think that's the idea, unless... Like I camping wanna here? Long, I want to go to the other place, to be honest, because I, I, I think Bo would, like, saw the bed, wants to know what that's all about, and I don't think he wants to, like, rest in this place. Well, you guys is... don't want to just lay on some... 1500 year old grass mm. <laughs> no the bomb wouldn't say anything but if anyone looked at the bomb they could tell his from his body language he does not want to be on this level mm-hmm. he's apprehensive well uh because of such a uh delicious meal that you all had and it was it was it it, it the 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 tyrannosaurus uh rex leg Funny enough, tasted a lot like a like a like a giant turkey leg, but with a, with a little bit more earthiness <laughs> to it. Um, oh, gamey, okay. Yeah, okay. it definitely it definitely a lot more gamey, um, but has a yeah it has a familiarity of uh, poultry and and turkey and, and like a, a dark meat like that. Uh, so all of you will receive a well fed buff. Uh, this will grant you a, an additional three hit dice that you can spend. Uh, to heal during short rests, Whoa. Uh, raising your hit die cap to ten. Uh, this must be spent by the end of the of of the next day tomorrow. Okay. Otherwise, cool. you'll lose it. Very cool. Okay. Okay. Generous DM. Mm-hmm. So, you guys will return back over to the um, yeah, and after a while, um. With a, a with a silent moment, uh, you would uh, yeah, you would just you guys would head over, you would de degunk the door, and return back to the station. Give me one second so I can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that works. Great. And you'll watch as the lift goes back up as you return or go back down as you return over to the uh, the living quarters. (sighs) 
refreshed in full. You get a bed, and you get a bed, you get a bed. What is, what is this? What's this thing? Oh, it's, that's a window. Yeah, okay. it's a glass that you can stand over, and you'll look down to see the space that's down below. Beware Ooh. the triangles. Back. <laughs> Brett, how does that key that I'm holding work? Uh, so, um, did you reveal it to anyone at all? No. All right. So you would go over, it would probably be something you've gathered, it might be in your inventory, a satchel of some kind. Um, and as you look at it, it looks like a broken piece of an iron rod. Um, but you can kind of feel it's got, it's the densest thing you've ever held before. Like you can actually feel its density just compacted into one form. It kind of gives an off sparkle and, uh, and also feels magnetic at the same time. Oh, you ever, you know that feeling when you've got two magnets that are kind of like trying to, or like a piece of magnet kind of magnetizing over to a uh, metal? And mm. uh, that's what you're feeling. You're kind of feeling this this gentle pull anytime that you hold it. Um, other than that, it is of a dark steel. And in some angles of light, as you stare at the fragment of the key, it's almost as if you're staring at pure black, at nothing at all. Sort of shuffle it back away and take a look at the digs. What do we got in here? All right. Um, so as you're looking around the uh, the living quarters, uh, you will take note that um, this panel over here uh, seems to have some general controls, including uh, opening and closing, sealing like door, locking the door. Uh, each room is equipped with its own light system, allowing you to change uh, the light in a variety of different colors and patterns and brightness. So if you would like to personalize the light in your room, you are able to do so. I want green light. And so you shall have it. Boop. <laughs> I'd like to open the Whoa. window. <laughs> Elsick dies. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you'll see it green. Um, what animation do you want for it? You actually see us, uh, you will actually see a series of, uh, uh, of modes for the light. Uh, if you, let me know if you decide to scroll through it. Yeah. Uh, tell me which one interests you. Bewitching wave, black hole, chroma, energy field, fairy light. Energy field. Okay. <laughs> And you'll start to see this, yeah, this this light energy field. So we'll start to swirl around your room. I love the way the lighting is like casting into the hallway, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see Bo is already interacting with their light. You said you wanted blue. 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 Um, and then um, do you set it at a setting or do you keep it at a default? I can also read all the settings for, for you, Bo. Uh, Bo very politely with his tiny hands presses each of them in a row, like individually to see all of them. Okay. Oh. Ooh. 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 Boo. That one's like a disco light kind of thing. Ooh. Boo. <gasps> that. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, that Boo. was cool. What was that one? You revert to energy field, the same one that Zug's using. <laughs> oh, Bo jumps on the bed. Yo, uh, I I would like to set my room lighting to a default red. Like okay. she just thinks red light would be cool, but it sort of just like accidentally gives off this vibe of like like uh like you know in zoo exhibits yeah. where they have red lighting in yep. like the nocturnal animal enclosures. <laughs> yeah, it's super creepy in there. <laughs> it's real fucking creepy in there. <laughs> Uh, Drask, are you messing around with any of it? Drask? Oh, sick. I'm muted. Love it. <laughs> Been there, dude. No, it's funny because I was saying I was going to make mine red, too. Uh, is before it a, I even realized. Is it a, the, the default red? 
just whatever is the most red. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> The bomb, as you're, wa <laughs> as you're walking <laughs> through the hallway, you'll actually see the lights peering out of everyone's room. With their huh. doors open. Weird. And then the bomb goes right by that room and stares down the hallway. And watching the entrance. Guarding again. This room. Oh my god, this guy's got some trauma. Oh no. All right. Um, so, as the bomb restores to a sort of, like, defensive stance, getting ready to guard against anyone that's coming over here, um, one of the things that you'll notice is that in these panels, you can facilitate a very just generalized crafting station. Um, as long as you have the tools required to make, uh, while you are in this room, uh, you can work on, uh, some projects. As mentioned before, uh, you have acquired uh, knowledge and recipes from the failed simulacrum that you can assemble. Um, I also want to let you know uh, that you, within each of you, um, is remnants of black star energy, just the slightest bit that you can manifest. Uh, you can use this energy to assist you with crafting projects. You can go pile it onto one person if you wish. Or you can materialize it into this, this sort of space-like sparkling gemstone. Each of you would be able, um, between all five of you, uh, you have 2,500 credits worth of Black Star energy on you. Which means if you were to combine it all together right now, go over to a shop and sell it, you would have 2,500 credits. Oh. Damn. Cool. Uh, but it can also be used for crafting. It could also be used as currency. This is pretty much what I'm I'm just letting you know right there. Uh, give me one second. So I'll place that in your inventories right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, give me one moment. This is not behaving, so I will do another thing. Oh, sorry. There, that's why. All right, just making sure that everyone has this on their person. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna pop out like that, and that should hopefully be good. Inventory, do do do. Yep, there we are. Black Star Energy. Um, so let me go ahead and give you a synopsis of things that you will be able to assemble and craft. Uh, ba ba ba, and ba. Okay. Um, so, as just a really general consensus of the things that you are able to assemble, uh, you will have acquired, uh, as far as crafting goes, um, a variety of tinkering projects, a variety of brewing recipes, uh, and a variety of blacksmithing recipes. And Bo, I did not forget about you. Uh, you have been thinking real hard of exactly what you can do with the um, with all, with the Tyrannosaurus Rex teeth that you have. Spending both in the um, spending both in the process, uh, you can create an amulet of the T Rex tooth um, that will do one of the following, if you so decide. Uh, you can either have it where if you are attuned to this this tooth amulet. Uh, your abomination strength increases permanently by four, which I think oh. uh, sets it so that, but you have to be attuned to this, uh, which uh, yes, would set your strength to 24 uh, while as an abomination, or um, the T-Rex amulet can offer you um, a new ability you can use in your maw form called Maw Thrash. Maw Thrash is a combo uh, that you can use after bite. Ah, uh, After yeah. a successful bite hit. Dang it, but there's two teeth. Do two teeth make one amulet? Correct, you have to choose. Can Bo uh, have a moment? Uh, yeah, Bo can have a moment. I also wanna let you know that currently uh, Abomination's combat limit is, or uh, combo limit is two which means you can't chain into a three hit combo uh. yet. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, because as we <laughs> as we were talking about before, you can currently do claw bite. Um, yeah. If you were to do that secondary one, you can do bite maw thrash. 
Um, Mothrash is a stronger bite um, that allows you to make a free grapple attempt. Oh Ooh. God! It keeps getting better. You're gonna have to think about uh, it. I'll leave. I'll leave it to you to think while I uh, go uh, across the room to everyone else. Um, so uh, just because we haven't seen too much love for this as of yet, um, the bomb. You have learned four new recipes that only you and you alone oh know. God, because dude. you. <laughs> By the way, these recipes that you guys uh, have learned are recipes that are only obtained because you defeated Lagos the Failed Simulacrum in the Black Star Mark, which means uh, unless uh, another player uh, from another campaign experiences the same thing that you guys did, you're the only ones to know these recipes for the most Very part. Cool. So for the brewing, here is the Failed Simulacrum recipes that you would have that you have acquired. Liquid Courage. Um, you gain a boost of confidence with this drink. By uh, drinking this brew, you gain Bardic Inspiration D8. This requires 250 credits worth of crafting material to brew. That's pretty good. That's good. You learn Foggy Brew. Something is awfully upsetting about drinking this brew. When you drink it, your mind becomes hazy for a brief moment as a fog spell is created around you. Until the end of your next round, <laughs> You can see through the fog, not suffering any disadvantage. That's really good. That costs 500 credits to brew. Uh, this one is kind of more of a very uh, a, an interesting brew because it is a deadly one called the Parasitic Blood Brew. There's nothing special about this brew except that it fabricates the fluid that Lagos, the failed simulacrum, was in. Those who consume the fluid must succeed a constitution saving throw equal to eight plus your proficiency modder plus your ability score modifier when the brew was made. On failure, the creatures take eight d6 necrotic damage as the parasitic blood begins to eat them from the inside. That's also a 500 credit brew. Yo, okay. give me a shot of that. <laughs> and last but not least, pickle juice. Magical oh. pickle juice. When you drink, uh, when you drink this, you can cast a spell up to third level without using a spell slot. It must be cast oh within one minute. So the next spell you cast, you can choose Whoa. not to use a spell slot. You must cast this, however, within one minute, and you can drink an amount of pickle juice equal to your proficiency bonus per day. That also costs five hundred credits. That's all some pretty good stuff, and exclusive only to the brewers of the party. So, uh, moving along, uh, we've got Drask, uh, which, by the way, Drask, that you you know just a buttload of new um, tra uh, crafting traits. Uh, yes. We have a we do have a book for those. But um, in addition to that, uh, for the failed simulacrum recipes, you would have learned two. One is the bloody shockwave. This is an extension trait uh, effect that you can apply to a weapon. The only prerequisite is that the weapon has bl the bloody modifier applied yes. to it. As a bonus action, you can discharge a bloody shockwave. This transforms your melee attack into a ranged attack up to 60 feet. On hit, you deal your bloody damage. You cannot access the bloody trait this round when you use this. So essentially, this turns your bloody sneak attack into a ranged attack that kind of like the same blood effect that Lagos was doing. That's against sick. You giving uh, you a little bit more utility and option. And this was a, and you are the first to learn uh, this recipe, which is so fucking exciting uh, because this was a recipe from all the way back of the phase two days and no one knew it. This was because uh, only one player found a weapon with this modifier. And that was Jesse Cox, uh, where Cheezel found something called the Sword of Envy. I'm happy to reward with you that you will have learned how to use, uh, create the envy trait, which is a utility trait. When you successfully hit with this weapon, it creates a dancing illusion of your weapon. Limit one. Uh, whenever you attack a creature with, with this dancing illusion within the reach of the weapon, uh, the dancing illusion that you've modeled from, uh, you get to make an additional attack limited to one per round. Oh my god. So, uh, that uh, will cost 2,500. Both of these cost 2,500 credits, by the way. They're very expensive recipes. 
I want to give that shit to Felsic, holy fuck. All right. And... Ah, for the first time, uh, Zug. You would have learned some tinkering abilities, specifically modifications that you can make to your turret. Are you ready? I'm ready. Two turret modifications. Uh, the first modification is firewall. Uh, and what that does is you activate a wall of fire centered on your turret, who is immune to the effect. You use oh your artificer's God. DC. While in firewall mode, the turret cannot take any action or move. You can use this ability number of times equal to your artificer level divided by four. Roll down. Uh, so currently that's one use. Uh, it becomes two uses at level eight. Uh, that's a thousand credits that you can apply to your uh, your turret. Is that uh, based does... off of the wall of fire spell? Yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the second one, which, by the way, uh, you guys were being timed during that fight. I forgot to mention that to you. Uh, and you were one round away from suffering the neuron gas that was going to slowly start oh. filling into the room. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Huh. So the only reason why I say that is because, uh, Zug, you now know the turret modification neuron gas. You act and this is this is okay, yeah, this is um this is a fun one because this is kind of fucky wucky. Uh you activate a neuron gas that begins to spread around the turret who is immune to the effect. You use your artificer DC. While in neuron gas mode, the turret cannot take any actions or move. The area of effect starts as a five foot radius and increases by another five foot um, every round until deactivated to a maximum of your <laughs> artificer's level times five feet, which means currently it is, it is a radius, not just area. So that's currently uh, 35 feet. So that's a 70 foot area that it can slowly just begin filling up. Uh, anyone that enters the area for the first time or ends their turn in this area must succeed at a constitution saving throw to take uh, uh or they take your artificer level in d6s in poison damage which currently is at 7d6 you can use this ability a number of times equal to your artificer level divided by four round a roll down that is a 2500 credit modification which means yes you can literally make a 100 foot radius or a 200 foot area uh, neuron, <laughs> neuron gas thing. That seems, bad optics. That's, yeah, it's tough to sell that one. <laughs> bad optics. Uh, uh, but uh, my god, is it cool. uh... I don't know if you want to say your character's the guy with the fucking uh, war crime turret, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not true. laughs> I mean, there's a big part of me that does, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, but yes, those are the recipes that you would have acquired. Uh, each and every one of you. Nice. Can are I have these written the down? The recipes somewhere? in our features. Uh, let me actually. I'll do you. I one. need some kind of like compa I need a recipe book. No, you know I, I mean? oh, I, oh no, I, 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 I understand. So what I will do is I'll see if I can. Uh, if you guys would like, uh, let me go ahead and show some pages for you that you guys can Ooh. copy and paste into your own notes. How do you use the journal? Because there's a journal thing on Forge, and I wish I could, like, add pages. Um, hmm. Because I see it on, like, the chat thing, and that would be really cool. Let me try, let me actually try something for you. Uh, I'm going to make a journal book called The Bomb. I'm going to configure its, uh, ownership. So I'm going to make that, uh, owned by, uh, Tomato. So now, if you click that, you should hopefully see it. Yep, I can add my own pages and right. do whatever I want in there. Would you guys uh, all like a journal that you guys can document all your stuff yes, on? Please. Yes, please. please. Yes, but I'm going to be writing it in character. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, my God, I want that. Yes. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, let me see. Next is uh, Mr. Shane Hawk. Done. I'm I'll have to draw pictures because I can't write. <laughs> you like make it in, in, in paint and then import it in. <laughs> Literate. Uh, Felsic. And I will configure the ownership 
Uh, so that uni can. Da, 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 da. Where the? F oh. Where are you? Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Gotcha. Found you. I'm all around. I was looking at it. I was looking for a different name. Uh, and then... Oh, wait, I actually can upload, instead of text, upload images to this, so I can't yep. draw shitty drawings. Yep. And <laughs> then, uh, Lawman, you will get a Zug journal. And then, uh, we will make a bow journal. Oh! It's gonna have crayons. Boom. <laughs> There it is. I don't know why I didn't have before, but and then configure ownership to uh Lena. Okay, so yeah, now that you guys, I, I didn't even think about that, so I'm glad you brought that up. Um, yeah, so now that you guys have journals, you can feel free to copy and paste this information into your respective journal uh, that you may need. Um, I, I finally started making a crafting journal. It took me forever. Um, I will also. Uh, let's see for blacksmithing. Uh, I will show the failed simulacrum recipes from the blacksmithing list, and from the tinkering list, I shall show the. Uh, oh, we already got tinkering. From the brewing list, I shall show a. Uh, show you Thank guys. Thank you kindly. The brewing list. Also, uh, this one is going to be specifically for. Drask, and that is all of the uncommon traits that you you can craft Sick. and add. The only thing you don't have access to is kinetic. Yeah, any of the kinetic traits you do not have access to. Okay. And you also don't have access to enhanced limiter. Uh, that will require an artificer who has knowledge of kinetic energy. I love you just copy and paste all of it right in. That's rad. Yeah very convenient oh yeah all right Damn. yeah that's good shit uh so i finally have a place to put all my mito things that i've I, just been scrolling <laughs> on a notepad this I, whole I, I well yeah I, i've just started utilizing the journal tool as well and i was just like oh yeah that's right um so funny enough um we had some really good rp moments uh but we are at time <laughs> like we haven't even done like the damn, damn dude stuff that was that was great oh it's still an awesome session um yeah, a good time. but you know it was a very very it was a downtime before the downtime um so what are you guys thinking about doing the next session do you want to uh continue to extend your downtime with some crafting are you thinking you'll be exploring the station a little bit more i know we discussed uh prior about the um other black star mark but is that something that you would want to wait to begin to explore at the end of the next session? Or is that something you want to dive into in the beginning of the next session? Ultimately, this is your story and every whatever you guys want to do. What are you feeling? I'd rather finish my crafting stuff so that we can bring all that stuff into the new, the next battle, honestly. Mm, okay. I'm fine with kind of like organically getting to the uh, inevitable Cool. encounter rather than just planning on doing it i'd rather have like a session to arrive at that destination oh, of course of course I, it. Uh, this mm -hmm. is this is just me kind of putting my feelers down to see like if people were like we're going we're doing this now but um the, a good answer is also just you know well we'll see what happens you know i, there I definitely a lot i explore i think uh we got a little more spring cleaning to do from the sounds of it yeah. and then spend some time exploring and we can see if like the se session after next session oh yeah the inevitable. that's perfect yeah i feel the same way that works because yep. i think that's the best way to do it than all of us just waking up next session in another fight yeah <laughs> i uh i agree so that sounds good uh so next session you guys will uh continue your ex exploration of the station um, perhaps do a little bit of projects and as mentioned before still a lot to see in the station uh, you might have been right. Uh, we we so talked about this offline a little bit. This feels like this station in itself is like a season. <laughs> yeah. Let me uh, yeah, ask. I mean, you gave us a fucking living quarters to fucking hide in while we cleared <laughs> yeah, this massive multi-wing dungeon. <laughs> <and> <laughs> um, 
uh, let me ask you guys, how, how you guys uh, been vibing with the past few sessions? I know it's been of a, a different fare, but I know, like personally, I've been digging it. But what have you, uh, what have you guys, what are your guys' thoughts about that? I've been having a great time, and I love any excuse I can to uh, do anything like character building with the bomb. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, it's it's, it's like uncharted territory for me. But I love the I'm RP sessions. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's very uncharted, but it's uh it's been a lot of fun. And I've been yeah, we've been we've been getting some some real serious moments, which is kind of uh, which I I kind of enjoy with our with our like comedic view that we're kind of getting a little, to see like the other side a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I will. I will say, I dude, I don't know how to do Bo's little accent for more than like four or five words. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 uh, I thought you time you to start watching YouTube videos. I, 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 I haven't questioned it whatsoever. I think. Hell yeah. I mean, I know the bomb is a fucking absolute like icon of accents and voices. I know I'm really pushing it on that <laughs> one. I don't want you to compare yourself to what I'm doing out here or anything like that, but uh... <laughs> absolutely. I haven't noticed any problems, Lena. I, I, also, yeah, Lena, I, haven't, I, I haven't noticed whatsoever. Um, Your character is however you want it to talk, and if they only talk a little bit in accent and slowly drift into something else, <laughs> this so is the be same it. voice I do for fat people and orcs. <laughs> oh my god, it is! Holy wait, shit! Wait, it is! Dude. Wait! God, the illusion has just been ruined, dude. What the frick? <laughs> Lena, I would always argue that the best thing that you can do for your character, especially in a long-form D&D campaign, is make sure that you are comfortable talking as them. And if you're, like, doing a voice that doesn't make you comfortable, then it's okay to, like, be like, well, I'm going to alter it slightly and make sure it's something that in six, seven months more of playing this game, I'm not going to fucking absolutely loathe, you know, mm, as well. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you right now... Um, that as as, uh, as we've been going on this past year, um, I was like, oh yeah, I'll probably be like wrapping up and at the end of twenty twenty three because that's usually what's um, that usually what's been been par for the course for all our phases is usually about close to two years and then we go on to something else. Um, but like, I can actually see these campaigns lasting a lot longer than that. Honestly, oh, like please. I feel like we've barely scratched. The we surface. have barely yeah. scratched. You any said it surface. was near the end. Yeah, I, 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 I thought, but then I was like, you know, you know, there's been a lot of development. There's been a lot of storytelling, a lot of character exploration. I'm like, we've got a, there's a lot left to go. Because <laughs> I even said, was like, I was like, I even said, was like, oh yeah, we, you know, it's probably like a two year thing. And then I'm like, oh no, man, this might actually be a bit longer than that. So that's awesome, though. That's that's really good. Um, let us begin with uh, our bingo. I'm sharing the screen. Yes, I'm sharing the screen. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, they find the previous party captain alive or dead. Um, that so that so funny enough. Uh, they already did. It was the draconian. So mm -hmm. yes, and as far now, did they find the kobolds? No, they did not. But we didn't discuss anything about a captain. Uh, more IO lore. Uh, we did with uh, the reveal that uh, Braun ended up being the last all king of uh, of um, Alabaster. Uh, more memory flashbacks and visions. So I'm gonna say yes for this one, and the reason why I'm saying is because I think we were talking about how the bomb is beginning to like see moments uh, back in the day of, of things that have happened. Um, and I almost feel like those are like memory flashbacks. Yeah, no, I was running with that whole like flashbacks thing all sections. So. Nat twenty. Yeah. Um, what, did Felsic nerd out about Braun? I will Kinda. leave that to Juniper. And that, that's a big yeah, I think so. I, a... I don't think she's like a she's like a super fan of historical figures. Oh, right, but I think right, she's right. like, yo, what the hell? It's it's yeah, literally sure. like as if like you woke up and you're like George Washington. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> George <laughs> Washington. <laughs> George Washington. Uh, <laughs> I think Felsic got a W today. I think Felsic yeah, absolutely sure. got a W today. Mm. Oh, sure. The bomb in Mido father son moment. No, not at all. No, not today. By the light is said by someone that is not Braun. That is a stretch. And I no. Should. I would say that's blasphemous, actually. Would have been yeah. funny. It would have been, yeah, it would have been pretty hilarious. Orc brothers quarrel due to fallout from douche Braun behavior. Never. God, you must think these that wasn't Zug. Yeah, you might you must think these guys are petty brothers. You know they're either fine, they're cool with it. 
Drask feels conflicted about Sahani's memories. I mean, can I say yes because he is, but I didn't RP it. Yeah, I mean, you, that, I, it's your Drask character. hates his past no, life. No, it didn't happen if you didn't say. Drask doesn't want to talk about his past life. Drask himbo moment. What? No, I didn't okay. have a himbo moment. Belsic needs a moment and gets high. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. I mean, Technically, you said you were high. I, it, well, I said you looked high. But yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, that that mm. this, there seems to be... Yeah, well, we're going to say no for that then. There's Tomer reservations. Tomerito, if Clorin could access the bomb's memory, what would he think about the uh, PD crew? I almost feel like we Time explored Time is a flat that. circle. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> I was, was going to say... Time I almost, is a flat circle. I'm here again. What's funny is, like, even though this was made, I almost felt like that was explored in the session you had itself. That yeah. Yeah. Um... Players get a new ability after the Black Star fight. I think the the the, the recipe, the exclusive recipes, is absolutely that. Uh, Bo continues to push random buttons. Oh, that no. didn't happen. No, the kitchen. No, that did. Yeah, they did. Oh, uh, it did. <laughs> yeah. I just remember. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? And, and this is this isn't a, a slide at you, Lena. What it was is I remembered the beginning of the session where Lena said. Bo's going to walk to the screen, but not touch anything because Bo knows better. Yeah. And, Bo then learned, went, and then Bo and, for Gore. And then 10 <laughs> minutes later, we're doing the same shit. Um, Bo, yeah, yeah. Bo fan fiction maker RP. Absolutely. After the handhold yep. thing, Bo was like, <gasps> and that's probably why you forgot you you weren't going to touch anything <laughs> anymore. Your brain just reset. Yep. With that. Uh, they find the second black star mark. No. Bo and or Felsic are glad to have their friends back. Well, of course. Okay. I think so. Rip gets sidetracked uh, uh, by a new thing that is revealed. Excludes fuel and Black Star stuff. We got sidetracked by an old thing. Yeah, I got uh, all the time. Inspiration ability used. Yeah, the uh, just using the inspiration. Felzug. I'm oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, honestly, this is the first time in a long time that I feel confident we can do that. Uh, Nat, was there a Nat one? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I don't think so. Not that I remember. Good work. Uh, Zug story time? I don't think no. so. No. We did a little RP, but I don't think we did like, oh, like, I guess when I hear story time, I think like talking. No. Yes. Uh, Zug brought up uh, him and his brother when talking to, to mate, uh, when talking to the uh, the bomb. Mm, is that a story though? I don't I know. I mean, you, you were explaining about how like, you know, you're responsible for your own actions and, you know, you are, mm -hmm. and, and you kind of like pulled that from your, your past. I leave it, I leave the answer up to you, but that's, that's my argument for it. Hey, I like a little bingo. Why not? Hey, hey all right. All right. More security bots show up. Yep. And they find the old world fuel. Not the what? Yet. Ah. <laughs> the what? The what? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I thought this was the crisis station. I thought we were just supposed to be in the middle of crises. I, I thought we were just here to pick up fucking PTSD trauma and then leave. <laughs> Speaking of PTSD trauma, let's go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Zahani when uh oh, when, when Tremor died. Stop. And then Zahani when he got angry. Rage. And then like I don't know a modern day Zahani kissing oh. Tremor. All right, let's see. I would pick him up and throw him. He's very throwable. Mm -hmm. Very small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just doing some laundry. <laughs> <laughs> How did Horror? that slip? Uh, Isekai moment. Uh, I don't <laughs> think so. That's, <laughs> not, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, I believe Damn. the Mark driver died. That's fucked up. <laughs> this cracked me up. Is that your girl? <laughs> Can you do this for me, please, slow man? <laughs> I think. <clears throat> Is that your girl? She's blessed by Div herself. Yeah. Yeah, we, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. Oh, my God. <laughs> how was it so good? That shit cracked me up. Felsa going riot mode, baby. Ah, oh, that's so Love cute. It. Uh, and so 
This is Felsic is a VTuber, so that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <Huh>. Weird. <laughs> you would be a bear. Felsic, what are you doing here? She's my nightlight. <laughs> no, he's yeah. in the dark. Does Felsic want Zug to wear fishnets? <laughs> <laughs> okay, me? Yes. Felsic, no. <laughs> Look at this yeah. fucking little gremlin. <laughs> I, what? How? You! I love gremlin Felsa. <laughs> Get fuck! I love the little Vido. <laughs> oh. Broke. She went spare ribs. <laughs> fuck, these are really good. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Small. Don't say yes. Don't say yes. <laughs> <laughs> he um, wouldn't say yes anyways. Read this if stupid. Shit. Damn. It's cute. Little snapback filter. Oh, this is a good one. I, I, this, this really gets the vibe. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Oh man! Whoa! I'm spoiled. It's a honey and brawn. Mm. Precious. Poggers. Look at this. This is just an excuse to get more broad fan art. Yay! <laughs> 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 I'm an <angel>. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, some alternate. Uh, universe characters. Holy shit, dude. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. There it is. There it Whoa, is. look at the size of the hat. <laughs> it's really tall. Fuck. <laughs> 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 it's so good. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Ew. I love that. That's that's great. Actually. One of my actually literally oh. one of my favorite monster design tropes is when like the gums and the teeth come outside of the face. Oh, it's that, my absolute favorite. That terrifies me. Oh. 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 Bro. Oh. Bro. Uh, <laughs> I I, I, sh I showed Lena this. I I thought this was yeah. a cool, cool design too. That's like cute. That oh That's my so cool. god. All the creepy pasta. Jesus. Tuts. Uh. Yeah, I love how very unintentionally my character is still horror. Like yep. and I love it. Yep. And but also a AO. Whoa! 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 Mm, it's pipe dreamer summer. <laughs> cool little sketch. Cool little sketch. Oh, that is really cool. Oh man, I'm I'm loving this look. Holy shit! <laughs> a a monk of a hecaton spawn monk. That's really cool. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, like that one. Just chaos of Io. <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. Time's a flat circle. Time is a flat circle. Yes. Hog. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh oh oh sorry that was Ooh. my personal Ooh. collection. Birth oh. of life. <laughs> sorry sorry about that. As a <laughs> artificer oh. cod. Yay! <laughs> You're gonna love it, Drask. It actually looks like the Twitch logo. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. I keep. I've, this is the third time I've seen it. Yeah, uh, of our five campaigns, four uh, have artificers. I love that. Go oh, do crimes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh... oh, that's really cute. So <laughs> Whoa! Damn. Uh, so we're showing this to every everyone because we just celebrated four years of IO. That's nuts. 
And That's so, awesome. And so Bearbot uh, quite literally made every- Oh game. my god! Oh, oh, god I wonder no. if you can see the depression in Clarence's face. Yep. <laughs> Yo, I wonder if they, they really see? captured it. Did they get references for phase one? I have no idea how people find references. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, oh my it's God, not young bro. No it's, way. it's not me. That's the oh. thing. I know people just see scatterings of like tokens and stuff Cute. like that. Um, so as far as how people have found the names of phase one, no idea. Because they even found phase oh, uh, one point five. Yep. And then we've got our phase two characters. And there's a lot oh, of phase two good. characters. Which is awesome. Now, I know you're going to see Homer Simpson, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry oh. about it. <laughs> oh. wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just going to continue oh, to go. I okay. Second. I think I just saw something strange. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the phase two versions of some of the uh, those heroes. And now we're entering phase three. <gasps> wow. Oh. Wow. Look Yay. at how sad, sad slime is. Oh, yeah. oh look at his little ice hat. cream melted. <laughs> <laughs> what a little idiot. Yeah. That was amazing. No, it's so good. It's, it's wild. So good. Um, where the fuck am I? What? Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. I was wrong. My <laughs> piece is on out. <laughs> I was. Sick. <laughs> She's losing it. <laughs> You're looking for some spare <laughs> rats. <laughs> oh boy. 500 credits a pop, by the way. Oh. Tiny axe. Oh. You're just I like that the big, you know. Collar. Where the fuck are we? Who are you people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are my friends? Oh. <laughs> That's okay. She looks so broken. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, oh, um. Oh my god. Uh, head um, came for an Aurora uh, Elite. That's wild. Whoa. God damn. That's cool. <laughs> I'm loving the fan art with the teeth. <laughs> <really good. laughs> I want to see her again. <laughs> Your boyfriend's a bit. He's not. She's boyfriend. just like me for real. <laughs> Let's take a look at this token, baby. Ooh, yeah. That was so good. Yeah, that was, that was oh. very good. Fuck, are we going to see that token again? I don't um, know. I mean, who knows? Who knows who what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> what Open the up fuck? The toilet. Fuck? Toilet. I'm sorry, so <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> we can't put him in our ship. <laughs> we got to put him in our ship. Throw him. <laughs> really, she just wants attention. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> You're a fighter. <laughs> uh. Bringing, bringing it back. It's loading. Whoa! Yeah. Ron. Colors. The colors, Duke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the, uh, smashing the con. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> just the song. It's so fucking distract. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these little <laughs> sketches. She They're was perfect. really going through it. <laughs> these are cute. <laughs> I will kick your ass. I kick your ass. Oh, I love it. God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Cute. Whoa. Hey. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Creature. Oh, my God. Yeah, definitely some some big sketch moments. I love sketch art. Very cool. <laughs> You're such a little guy. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. 
<laughs> he had like 10 strength. A little shit post, but it works. <laughs> Damn, dude. For the record, he's immortal, not actually old. Uh, yeah, whatever you fucking say, man. <laughs> Uh, this is called <laughs> the fine boom. <laughs> the fucking, the, like the wrist face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the light, this boom plus it. <laughs> I, I hate this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, let's fucking calm down, why like, don't we? I love his wide goblin face. <laughs> I'm like a normal person body. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Pillow. Cute. What the fuck? Um, by the way, for uh, a big shout out to Storm Rider who made fight. The official art of the Banger. failed Spillacrum Lagos. So creepy. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely wanted to do something custom and make something our own for this one. So it was so yeah, cool amazing. just revisiting that and being like, oh, yeah, we actually have a budget and can just make custom shit now. So that was really cool. Um, you'll Ooh. also notice, uh, because he is the seventh of the eight Lagoses, there's a little uh, oh. up oh. there. Oh, my oh. tail. God. And uh, and uh, what was really cool is uh, Storm Rider made an official logo of the Lagos Project, which is that symbol that's by uh, the seven. Ah. And so that is the official logo of the uh, of the the Lagos Project. <laughs> I like just get, I could just hear Zaha <laughs> while the freaking I can still kick your ass gremlin so mad. gremlin fell sick <laughs> ah whoa stop <laughs> what the fuck what the... <laughs> you have a lot of creative freedom and that's really what I appreciate <laughs> <laughs> oh god remember when Zahani went ape shit oh Monkey. <laughs> I forgot the fire. <laughs> you got like three things in that fight. <laughs> I wanted to. Oh look, yeah, that I, one. Oh yeah, that one. There was part of me that was like, I could like go back to this fight and like see what the fuck went on when I right. played it originally. But I was like, there's no fun in that. I'm gonna try to remember live if yeah. anything. No, changed. it was it was really funny. <laughs> oh, I yeah, honestly thought it was a bit like half the time. <laughs> I was like, nah, he totally knew that was gonna happen. By like midway through, I was like, I remember, I remember all the original mechanics, and then just stuff started changing instead, and I was like, well, now none of it matters. The inevitable fight were fucked though. I don't remember anything about that fight. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get it. <gasps> oh, oh my oh. god! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh man. Oh. Fan artist went crazy last session. <laughs> uh, woo! Banger. No. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Plurnt noises. Got any tips to pick up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> is this a felsic mood or is this a non felsic mood? Yeah. Yeah. Cute. Running sounds. <laughs> uh, it's like slug sounds. Just an awful squelching <laughs> sound. <laughs> oh my oh! god. Whoa. Wow. Yikes. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. What is this style? This is crazy. I don't know. What is that? It happened just like this. So to answer <laughs> you, it, Kirby, this is how it happened. Well, man, to answer your question, the style is uh, clay. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. Oh. Wow. 
Wow. I was oh. like, man, that looks crazy. Like, how do you even draw that? Yeah. There goes my <laughs> ew, 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 ew. I don't like the legs. <laughs> what a badass. Whoa. Damn. I guess red. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's the the clerk. <laughs> Wait, that's the clerk magic baby? What about Mido buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. You roll <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was fucking wild. <laughs> oh no. Aww. New fan art? Yes, please. Oh man. Cool. Oh. <laughs> no. Well. No. Tiny. He can punch magic. Get fucked! <laughs> uh, 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 Still little dude. <laughs> Twain! <laughs> oh, God. Bam. Albert Slimes of Io. <laughs> Can you lay off? I kind of know that guy. Oh, man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Elsic W session. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. she can yeah. get him every once in a while. It's Rare. like a it's like a karmic sort of build up where it all happens at once and then she's gonna go back to <laughs> taking only L's for a while. Must be this tall to ride. I'm as big as Mido, buddy. Wait, there's no way you're that small. <laughs> no, he's not that small. Okay. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah. Bug catching episode. Oh, oh, I'm so fucking cute. <sighs> now that's a that's a Felsic W if I've ever seen one. <laughs> God, ranged. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh shit! What okay. the fuck? That's uh, that's that's absolutely incredible. I'm just wow. saying, like, a, a part really of me good. is like, do we get even get abomination art? Because I'd be, I love I'd everyone's be watching out for that club, club, you know, though. Yeah. No. Pathetic. Pathetic. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot about this part. That, <laughs> that part. That that part got me stomach. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing: is the fact that you are correct. Skagzag wouldn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> that would be that tactically involved. However, the general skag zag energy was wonder, surprisement, and what the fuck are you doing, skag zag? So it only made sense that he would just uh, like yes. do a big one up. The most chaotic thing that skag zag could do in that moment was do the correct thing, yes. which would throw Clarent into an absolute <laughs> stunlock. <laughs> oh, and then we get a little emotional. Don't go always oh. with you. Uh oh. Um, okay, so uh we will wrap up now, but uh I do want to let you know that we left fan art on the table. So we will roll that over into next week. Yes. Just, just, just unending. Sounds good. Fucking backlog of it's fan just art. gonna keep building up. It's gonna yeah. get worse. Yep. I yep. fucking hope so. That's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Thank you again, and I will see you all uh, next week. Yes. Sounds so, good. Thank you so much, guys. All right. All right bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh, that was a fun session. I really enjoyed that. Chat. Did you like that session? I know you guys are like used to like funny, haha lighthearted comedic sessions but i i feel like we've been getting we've been kind of exploring a little bit of the serious territory and i'm i'm gonna be real i'm digging it <coughs> i'm digging these characters being uh, uh being evolved and everything that's gonna be uh yeah it's gonna be good uh ladies and gentlemen um i'm pretty uh tapped voice wise so i want to let you know that we do have a kickstarter april 11th this tuesday five days from now uh, it would mean the world if you could support it, either by backing to Kickstarter or if you can't financially afford to, um, just bringing attention to it. Um, you can go ahead and tell your friends. You can go ahead and follow me on Twitter and um, retweet and like um, our, our announcements for this project. Um, or you could pick up a book or pick up a couple of uh, add-ons for the pledge. That would be great. 
Will there be fishing on Saturday? Yes, there will be. <coughs> so, um, yeah, let's go and check out the trailer for our Kickstarter.